When you're on your knees at your father's funeral, at his casket, and you're saying goodbye to him, and then you have nine orgasms right there, while your whole family is standing behind you, it just makes you never want to have another mm. orgasm as long as you live. But you know what? You just keep on coming. If you're the lucky owner of an Android phone that hasn't burst into flames like this shithouse product that it is, have I got an offer for you today. It's a brand new dating app for Caucasians only. No darkies allowed. Do it right. Keep it white. And every download of the app today from the App Store will come with over 20 pounds of pussy and ass. Act now. Supplies limited. Okay, I, I think we're live. I've got to check the audio to make sure it's uh, to make sure it's working. Doing this from a god awful laptop with Windows 10, which is primarily a giant piece of shit, and it's a new version of OBS. So once I hear the audio coming through, uh... okay, I, I think we're live. I... All right, we are we are golden. We are good to go. Just pull up chat here so I can read what people are saying. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. I think if this worked right. I should be able to display chat in the window. Let, let's find out if that'll actually fucking work. Hey, what do you know? Uh, just a reminder for the viewers, if you want to have the fun chat, that's going to be the chat that is uh, the live chat. Not top chat. You're going to want to switch that. Top chat is for soccer moms from Facebook. Live chat is where it's at. That's where the fun happens. You're probably noticing there are no mods <laughs> in the room. Uh, that's because mods are gay. And I'm not here to babysit you and police what you say in a YouTube chat. So there, there are no wrenches getting handed out here today. It's not going to be happening. Not, uh, not the sort of thing that I'm into. So feel free to spam whatever shit you like to spam. It's what makes streaming half the fucking fun. So what a, what a couple of months it's been. Got the whole IBS thing going on. Internet blood sports. Gayest name ever. Greatest acronym for irritable bowel syndrome. Because a lot of people... A lot of people have been shitting themselves lately, so I wanted to get into that. We've got we've got a, about three parts in this stream. Let's see how we're going to break that up. Talk about IBS and the uh, characters surrounding it. Uh, go into the super secret audio, which will be our second portion, and then finish off talking to the chat. So I will read out those super chats. I will pound through those fuckers in the third portion and talk to live chat because live chat is that's where the fun is. So the, for those of you unfamiliar with what IBS is, it's a, uh, a way to get idiots and retards to scream at each other. Uh, that's been the draw for me. I think that's been the draw for most people. Compared it to things like Springer, because that's what I like. I like watching people get angry and scream at one another. That's part of the fun of it. But I'll be damned if the people hosting these fucking streams find it difficult just to maintain that as a status quo. Easiest job in the world. Set up, a, set up a stream and let two idiots scream at each other. But we've got to have betrayals and uh, intrigue and backstabbing and discord groups that uh, completely, completely fuck up the community. So I'm going to go over that. I'm getting a lot of questions on what uh, my opinion on these people are uh, and my opinion on the events that have been happening. So let's start it off with uh, Baked Alaska because now that's fucking based. Who doesn't love Baked Alaska? A guy that uh, changes his skin more than a fucking snake. He just sheds it off and becomes something new. One day he's working at BuzzFeed. The next day he's a based megapede. Then he's a race realist. Then he's a rapper. And then he's praying to Jesus on streams. All the while having cocaine whores in his house. 
uh, for his amazing streams. And then turning on his chat, which I had a bit of an issue with. I, I don't like that. I don't like the idea of drawing people in, saying, you're the audience that I like. You're the kind of people that I can relate to. And then turning around and shitting on them and calling them toxic and telling them to behave. Who uses that fucking word, by the way? I've heard a few people try to uh, justify it, to rationalize it, but every time I hear the word toxicity, every time I hear the word uh, toxic, I can only think of a few things. I think of fucking Tumblr, I think of RSRS, and I think of Overwatch. And none of those fucking things are good. I don't want to be compared to that shit. I don't know why he would. But he's got to get rid of those toxic people in the, uh, in the chat section of his live streams because they need to go away. Sure, they've financially supported him. Sure, they've shown up at 2 in the fucking morning to watch this retard fuck up a very simple format. But they need to go because he's an influencer now. By the way, if you use the term influencer in your day-to-day -day life, consider drinking bleach. Do us all a fucking favor. Maybe take a dive off a building. I don't know. It's a suggestion. Not saying you should do it, just suggesting it as a possibility for advancing your fucking career. But uh, yeah, he moved out to Hollywood. He moved out to L.A. He went over to the, uh, to the California, California, letting people start influencing him into becoming a standard influencer. And everything went to shit. I went on stream with this guy a few times, talked about different matchups that would have been entertaining, and uh, thought everything was great, but boy, was I retarded. I made, a, I made a bit of a mistake with Baked Alaska and had a little bit of a falling out with him. Now, people got on my case and said I was a little too harsh on Baked. He's a good boy. He didn't do nothing until the very next day when he accused another guy of being a cokehead and said things to the effect of, you wanted me to find you cocaine, I have the text messages. And <laughs> to which the other guy replied, would you want me to talk about uh, how you were offering to get it for me? So that's, that's brilliant. And then they kept dropping names because that's what everybody in L.A. wants to hear. You got these two goofy fucks arguing on live stream with one another about cocaine deals. And then they're dropping your name left and right like it's a fucking bomb. Ice Poseidon, Ice Poseidon, Ice Poseidon. If I was Ice Poseidon, I wouldn't let Andy Worski or Baked Alaska anywhere near my fucking house. Talk about trouble. What are you doing? But the big news, for those of you that follow this shit, would be the split between Andy Worski and J.F. Jean-Francois Garapé, or however you pronounce it. I don't know. I'm not, a, I'm not a Frenchman. I couldn't tell you how to say that properly. But you've got to consider, you've got the simplest fucking job on the face of the goddamn earth. You literally sit on your ass for three hours and let people give you money. They just, they throw money at you. You sit on your ass and let other people talk, and you get paid for it. And yet somehow they couldn't make that work. The relationship just couldn't work out. They split apart. They went their, their separate ways. Now you've got people running around saying Team JF and Team Andy. <laughs> they split their audience. They fucked their bottom line. They wanted to treat it like a, a, a business, like it's something they could make money over and completely dropped the fucking ball. Ridiculous shit. Acting like teenage girls. Airing it all out in public. Ridiculous. Now, uh, this is a follow-up, because JF had said something to the effect of uh, Andy is low IQ, which started a fight uh, a while ago. I'd given Andy two different pieces of advice on two different days, and he seemingly picked the one that he felt most uh, comfortable with. The first day I said, it's your show, run it how you want. If you're upset with JF, get rid of JF. The second day I said, you guys should work it out. You've got, you've got something going there. And then you wait, you give him the two different opinions, and you see what he goes with, and he chose to stick with JF. But a month down the road, here we are back at arguing, because uh, JF had kicked somebody from the stream. He'd kicked the Ralph retort during his stream, and he wasn't uh, too thrilled about that. Got into a bit of a fight. Later on, they have a stream with Chris Cantwell. Uh, they take the stream down. JF does a stream talking about how Andy defamed him somehow. And uh, it went to shit after that. They, they broke up live on air. <laughs> it's so It's so ridiculous. I, I got into this shit, the, the reason I like it so much, and I think the reason it uh, appeals to so many people, is we like watching people argue. And so that, that's my main take on it. That's why I've been interested in this. I just want to watch people scream at each other. So, it, you know, it's all copacetic. It's been great for me. The only problem is when all the hosts and the shows start to fight with one another, uh, it kind of fucking torpedoes the whole idea. Now, JF's gone to do, uh, 
to do high intellectual streams, and Andy's going to go do uh, dude uh, Lamal weed streams, and they've kind of they've kind of broken apart. But before I continue with my story here, because we're going to get to the good bits, let's see what Chat has to say. Chat, I, I don't know. Greatest anime betrayals from Jake. Don't know how you'd. Uh... <laughs> well, there's so many animal, animal. Uh, filthy animals. Anime betrayals. There's so many goddamn anime betrayals going on, it's hard to keep fucking track. Uh, there is a bit of a delay, too. So if you hear a moment of silence, that's not me praying for Baked Alaska's career. That's me waiting for the fucking chat to catch up. Uh, I don't know, chat. Why don't you Why don't you throw out a one if you're a Team JF? And throw out a two if you're a Team Andy, and then we'll talk about their metrics and what I think's going to happen to their channels. So one for JF, two for Andy. We got about what is it, 8,300 people watching? Give us a good idea of what we're looking at. Oh, I've got to turn live chat on. See, I'm not even taking my own fucking advice. What a cunt I am. Switch that over. Somebody said, put it into slow mode. Fuck that, no. Fast mode's where it's at. You gotta be quick. You gotta read this shit as it scrolls by at a million miles an hour. <laughs> I'm seeing I'm seeing a lot of threes. I don't blame anybody. And I'm also seeing a lot of ones. But it's, uh, there, there are twos in there as well. A couple of sixes and zeros, because fuck it, I won't do what you tell me to do. A 1488 <laughs> from Sam Hyde, no less. Thank you, Sam. I don't know if Hitler's gonna come stream with any of these people anytime soon. He'd probably he'd probably gas them all, to be honest with you. But it would make for an energy he'd probably make a lot of super chats that night. Uh, a couple of people saying, fuck them both. You gotta go fast. Now when you're looking at the metrics between their their little breakup, their loss of an emotional connection. Andy's and he's taking a, a pretty sizable hit. I think he's down about 2,500 to 3,000 subs. Uh, JF Gierpe is up, I'd say, roughly 1,500 subs. So there's been a definite shift over to his platform. Now, JF, because he is the world's most French Frenchman, has found a way to parlay this breakup into bringing chicks on stream and getting paid for it, which I have to say is somewhat fucking admirable. You have to give him credit for that. I want you to imagine yourself in a bar hitting on chicks, and every time you go up to some uh, some woman and you're like, uh, hey, yo, baby, you want some fuck? Some dude walks up behind you, slips $100 in your pocket and says, nice job. 1488. Slay that pussy. <laughs> that is what JF is doing. He had uh, Yukas on and then he had, um, I don't even know who the second lady was, but he had a couple of women on. Made some good money from doing it. So it, it, he seems to be stable. I don't know what the future holds for Andy's stream. People said that they think they're different personalities. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. I mean, Andy is a, uh, as Jeff has put it, his low IQ. He's a little slow. You'd think it'd be a match made in heaven, a fucking uh, alignment of the stars. Because if Andy's slow and a little retarded, that should be JF's type. I'm, you know what I'm saying, chat? You get that? That's a little bit of banter. It's a little bit of banter. But nobody's here to ban me. I can talk all the shit I want, and I can't get kicked off any stream. Isn't that good? Feel free to feel free to say that in the chat. Nothing's gonna happen to you. You can talk all this shit about anybody you like. Then you've got the Morning Kumite, which actually has probably been my favorite, if I had to pin it down. I, I do like Tonkasa's morning show. If you want to call that XM Radio-like, or what they're trying to make it, uh, kind of an Opie and Anthony vibe, uh, it's it's not bad. But I swear to fucking God, if I hear Viva La Rasa one more time, I'm going to shoot Failure's ass out of a cannon right over the fucking wall with Mexico. I can't stand it anymore. It's gone beyond funny and cute into I don't want to listen to this shit anymore. I'm going to gouge my fucking eyes out. Why is that, by the way, that every goddamn streamer out there, every time something happens, somebody says something in chat, they get a donation that comes through, Streamlabs pops up, there's a sponsorship, there's a subscriber. You need to hear it. Now that's fucking based. Viva La Rasa. Can't fucking stand it. I, I don't think I'm the only one on this, by the way. Oh, and then you've got Backyard Bloodsports. God damn, every one of these fucking channels has had issues, and I, I don't understand it. I don't understand how you can fuck up something this simple. Uh, Joakim apparently getting into uh, some shady shady dealings, allegedly, with uh, Super Hacker Zoom. 
and uh, breaking off with the backyard blood sports guys because he was doing he was doing some shenanigans that they didn't appreciate, and so he he took his leave. He left the he left the platform. And you've got King of Pole fucking inserting himself everywhere. Uh, by the way, to clear the air because people have asked repeatedly, uh, Brian was uh, never part of Medicur. He's made that claim once before. Never, never a fucking part of that. Uh, we've talked to each other on Skype occasionally. I played a video game with him twice. And uh, we're not best buddies. And also, you know, Paul, if you're listening to this, my name isn't fucking leverage for you to swing about like it's a cudgel. You can't go around everywhere dropping my name and acting like that's going to troll shield you or get you some kind of goodies or something. That's just fucking weird. So stop doing that. I don't think you'll be doing that. You know, to be fair, I don't think you're ever going to do that again after this audio plays. I have a good feeling you're probably going to hate me, but don't blame me. Blame the dude that sent it to me because it's funny shit, and I like funny shit. The audience likes funny shit. See, with blood sports, it's not necessarily that you need to have two people coming in and going at each other. You just need to provide something that's entertaining. You need to give the people what they want, a spectacle. I think uh, Ralph Retort probably had one of the better ones when he had uh, Nick Fuentes and James Alsop on. You don't even know. You don't even need to know who they are. They were two former business partners. There was a split in the business. There's some bad blood between them. That's all you need to know. Boom, they're going to go at it. And that's another case, too, of people that just can't seem to manage having a business relationship with each other. Uh, which is strange because they had a discussion about Syria, and regardless of what your politics are or which way you might swing on that, they really flow well off one another. Uh, there's a good amount of back and forth with them. And that, that shot to shit. That's never going to happen again. I guess you need some third party, some unbiased third party that has no connection to anybody to run the goddamn business because people trying to do it on their own just doesn't work out. Uh, JF and Andy couldn't work it out. Nick and James couldn't work it out. Joakim and the Backyard Blood Sports people couldn't work it out. Baked Alaska is going schizophrenic in California right now, praying to Jesus. Couldn't work it out. Bringing on some, some cam whore and some other chick who... <laughs> Who didn't like the cam horror, which I, I don't disagree with. I uh, just, uh, oh, oh, they want the audio. The people watching want the audio. What could the audio be? I'm going to cock tease you a little bit more here. I'm going to make you earn it. We've got a little bit of talking to do before the show really gets kind of its flow going. You need that first 20 minutes or so of uh, filler to get things going. Luckily, I'm not spamming you with a 30 minute intro block. <coughs> Kumite, uh, that makes you want to fucking shoot yourself. I'm just going right into it. I'm just jumping straight into it. So let's have a little discussion with the chat. You know, I'm going to throw the chat window up here. Accidentally, it's set on top chat, not live chat, but I will respond to live chat. But then at least people can see what's going on. Let's uh, pop that up there. It's a little, it's a little askew, but you'll have to forgive me. Yes, the audio is coming up. <laughs> <laughs> the audio is coming up. I think you're all going to enjoy it quite a bit. So you tell me, chat, what is your what is your take on the IBS phenomena? Which is, again, just retards screaming at each other. It's the easiest fucking thing in the world to do. And when you think you get a golden goose like that, I mean, a lot of these people that are kind of involved in it do see it as a profession. They see it as a business, but then they don't treat it like it, which is fucking weird to me, I guess, if you're if you're making so much money. I mean... JF and Andy were making a killing doing this shit. You just leave the fucking super chat button open, and then you talk, and then you let people yell at each other. But they, they couldn't seem to manage that, and I just don't fucking get it. It's dumb to me. It's dead. I'm seeing a lot of it's dead, it's full of faggots. Chat is, uh, is not pulling any punches. They're being very upfront about this. I can't say that I disagree. Chat, it has kind of become gay and boring. Uh, I don't know if they can recover from it. I, I think maybe the only one walking away with a semblance of an audience after this is probably probably Kumite, uh, because they weren't really front and center with it. I, I don't know. I mean, that is if Tonka stops challenging everybody to a fucking physical fight. Like, I get it, Baked opened the challenge to you, but Tonka, man, you got you got to stop it. You need to cool it with that shit. You can't be saying... To every person you get into a disagreement with, that you want to fight them in real life, I don't, I don't know what you're doing. 
Oh, and, you know, and another thing, too, I should probably bring up. After Andy and JF split up, if you go and watch that stream, if you can find it or if you have any interest in looking at it, look at the people that immediately circled in like fucking vultures picking at a carcass. You had Quarter Pounder, a.k.a. The Quartering, uh, celebrating that JF was being exiled. The One of the first people to jump in the hangout after JF left was Short Fat Otaku, somebody that did a video about how shit IBS is, how terrible JF is. They're, they're celebrating that. They, they love it. And, uh... <laughs> what in the fuck, Andy? Come on. Too many fights in a row? Yeah, I agree. Too many fights in a row. Pineapple, I don't know why you'd have a safe word with people. Fucking dumb, if you ask me. If you need to have a safe word with another man, maybe you should, you know, turn in your pair of testicles. I, I don't know. I don't know what you're doing. Okay, everybody's... You know what? I, I, I'll i be a good boy. Because people like things brief. I'm not here to keep you for three and a half hours or four hours. This will probably be a two-hour stream. We've gone for about... 20 minutes. So let's segue into that audio. What could that audio be? Let me remove chat here and just get everything set up. I'm going to need to check the audio quality of this as it plays through. But uh, I received a message from somebody. Uh, that individual had uh, a, a selection of audio that they, they sent to me. And they said, Jim, you like to fuck with people and you say you're a troll, but you probably never play something like this. And, you know, I took the challenge up. I took the audio and I said, I will play it. I will play the secretly recorded audio of King of Pole. Now, that individual, for those of you wondering, he said he didn't have a problem with his name being known. That individual was Invisible Crane. Uh, and he wanted me to say this before we get into the audio proper. His message to King of Pole was, You sure like to fuck with me, Brian. Let's see who's laughing now. So without further ado... <laughs> This audio, by the way, is 30 minutes, so buckle the fuck in, okay? 30 minutes. We're going to take breaks in between as the audio plays out. Uh, some information has been redacted to protect the innocent. But aside from that, the audio is just going to play out as the audio is. Pre prepare yourself, chat. Uh, this, this is going to be something fucking memorable. Tonight, okay? Okay about some things that happened when I was drunk and Danny wanted some answers. Did he tell you? Tell you, tell me what? What, uh, what, all right, so the other night, Danny, me, and Andrew, I think Andrew recorded it. We're in a call oh, and I said some things to Danny. A Andrew, about, and, but... Andrew and Danny did tell me that you said you wanted to suck his cock. All right, well, that, I mean, that's like, I mean, I said a lot of things to Danny, but anyways. So like, I tried to talk to Danny about it tonight when I was drunk and uh, Danny was busy. Mm -hmm. But I might have said some things, and I don't know how Danny feels about it. Why? Why? What do you why, mean? What do you why, mean why? why are you trying to sleep with a married man? I'm not trying to sleep with a married man. What's wrong with you? Oh, boy. I, I don't know if you caught that, chat. If you might have an idea of what, uh, of what might be taking place here. There's a very subtle reference there, aside from the I like sucking cock portion of the audio. Sleeping with the married man. Ah, jeez, you know, hey, hey now, it's it's 2018, okay? You just you just need to get the fuck over it. It's a new it's a new day. It's a new dawn. All right, just get the get the fuck over it. There's nothing to be embarrassed about, Brian. You need to embrace this. It's time to come out of the closet, buddy, and tell the world that you love dick. Oh boy, oh boy! <laughs> I think I think we might be breaking new ground. Let me get let me get rid of this. Okay. Oh, we're only um, 
We're only 40 seconds in. We're, we're only 40 seconds in. Okay. Let's, uh, let us, let us continue. Let us continue with this masterpiece. Well, I mean, you're cheating. I didn't say that. You're, uh... Well, I didn't say that. Well, Danny's married. I didn't say I want to sleep with a married man. Why are you saying that? You said you... put words in my mouth. You said you said some things associated with... I did, with... but that doesn't mean I told I was trying to sleep with a married man. Why are you putting words in my mouth? But you want to. No, I didn't say that. What did you say? I told Danny I think he's cute. Do you even know what he looks like? Yeah, I've seen a picture of Danny. I asked for Danny a picture, and he was like, why? And I had to tell Danny why. And then I, I like Danny's attitude. He's, he, I've always thought Danny was cute for about a year now. Well, you know, he wouldn't let you... Yeah, he said he felt awkward about it. Yeah, he said it. he said he yeah you talk. And then I and, and then I told Danny I said I don't want to ruin a friendship, so you, please don't get mad at me. You you'd be catching. You understand that, right? What does that mean? It means you'd be taking it in the ass. No, fuck no. I'm sorry. That's not you, happening. That's that's. No. Do you know uh, why? Danny, Danny's out of his mind if he thinks that's what's gonna happen. Well, if the, if that's the only way you'll it'll work. Is it? Is that the only way this is gonna work? <laughs> Does the mysterious Danny need to be the top? Uh, we'll only find out if we play more audio. Uh, there's some golden quotes in this one, so you're probably gonna wanna you're probably gonna wanna set those fucking recorders to on, because I've had a I've had a little bit of a preview of this. There's some spicy shit coming up. All right, we're two minutes in. Continuing. Well, Danny's married, do, so that's yeah. Do you know happen. Do you know what the rules of engagement are for gay sex? Whoever has the bigger dick yeah, pitches. Yeah. All right, Danny, 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 now you're never going to do that, Griffey, so get over it. Okay, I'm just telling you, if, if you want to if you wanted to pursue that, you would have to catch. No, I'm not going to. He's married. Are you kidding me? Yeah, but that wouldn't, that didn't stop you from the other girls that you're seeing. Right. Well, I mean, like, I don't know. Danny doesn't live here either. Though I've been telling him to come to Tampa, but for the wrong reasons. <laughs> But Danny just didn't find that out till tonight, and then I thought he was gonna. And then I thought he was... just. Uh, I'm gonna chime in occasionally in between, interspersed for our audio here as we as we listen along with just some key points. I invited him down to where I live, or Tampa, or wherever, for all the wrong reasons. I wanted a married man to come down here for all the wrong reasons. That is some uh, that's some spicy stuff from a dude that calls himself King of Pole. Just gonna like I ruined a friendship because I was like, um, I don't want to be like super gay and him being like a really awkward. Well, then don't tell him he's cute. That's super gay. I already did. Well, that's super gay. He said he appreciated it, but he didn't know what to say about it, and he felt really uncomfortable. Uh, he actually said he knew. What do you mean he knew? How would he know? He doesn't know. He's he said lying. he said he knew that you were hitting. He had a feeling that you were hitting on him. No, he didn't know this. He didn't know this. He's lying. I don't know. He might have. Why would he know? I mean, there's no way he would know. Come on. He can. Maybe he can tell. That you're. Maybe he could pick up the vibes that you were flirting no, with. Him. I was a flirting. Where was I flirting, Danny? Come on. Oh, when you said you wanted to suck his penis. You know, I'd have to agree. I'd have to agree. If you tell another man that you want to suck his penis, that's probably probably considered flirting. Another little pro tip for any of the listeners out there: if you're first time on the internet, maybe not uh, get drunk. And have a conversation with another person about how gay you are. Because <laughs> one day that recording might come to bite you in the ass. Just a just a friendly tip from Jim. I was drunk. Yeah, so you were flirting with him because you were drunk. Maybe. But you would have to you'd have to catch because his penis is bigger. No, I don't take any dick in the ass. Well then then you need you're not following proper Gay sex no, protocol. No, I'm not. I, I am. Danny, Danny, I'll suck his penis, but Danny, I'm taking Danny in the ass. It's okay. Mm, no, because Danny's penis is bigger. No, it's not. What are you fucking talking Oh, about? yes, it is. Whatever, dude. I ain't even trying to have this argument right now. I'm not, I don't take dick in the ass. That's like a big thing with me. So, Danny's just going to have to deal. Oh. Besides, Danny's married. Mm hmm. So that's never going to happen, period. I mean, I'm not gay or anything. 
I'll suck that dude's dick, but he's not fucking me. I'm gonna fuck him like a straight man would. I, I don't know if that, I don't know if that computes. I'm having, I'm having a little difficulty with that logic. Maybe that's just me. Maybe that's just me. Maybe this new millennial mindset means that you can fuck dudes in the ass and that's totally hetero. Everybody's, everybody's so different these days, it's hard to keep track, isn't it? We're only, uh, we're only four minutes in. We're only four minutes in. Fun times ahead. You're like, you're just, you're like becoming... My, what? You're becoming like Milo Yiannopoulos levels of no, sexual... No, I'm not. Be- and Dan, Milo Yiannopoulos is a massive narcissist. That's really fucked up, dude. No, I'm saying in terms of like the sexual deviancy. Not really. Not really. I keep it pretty private. I mean, I've been like that for a long time, but I keep it super private. Yeah, but you're in like a lot of flings right now. Well, I mean like with women, yeah, but like, you know... I'm not trying to have a serious relationship either. Right. So, I don't. I don't mean. You know what I mean. But honestly, if I were in your position and a girl was wanted to come over and have sex right, like tomorrow, I'd be like, of course. No. I'd be like, no, no, Why? monster, monster hunt because monster hunt. No, hunting. are you out of your mind? I'm not out of my mind. She's hot. I'm, no. Don't. Doesn't matter. Dude, she works at Angry Elephant Tattoo Shop, and she's a piercer. Are you fucking any fun? Mm-mm. I don't. I don't let the. I don't let the pussy control me like that. Yeah. It's a. It's a bit of a Chad thing to be saying to a man that's talking about sucking cock. I don't let the pussy control me. I'm gonna go play some Monster Hunter. You have fun sucking dick on the internet, champ. Seeing a lot of uh, new nicknames in the chat. I'm seeing a lot of King of Pauses. King of Paws is a nice has a nice ring to it. I told you this audio would be fun. I told you we'd have a good time. Only five minutes in. Let's keep the show going. Yeah, but I want to have sex with her because I I haven't had sex with her before, so I don't know what you're Se- trying to get. At, sex sex can wait. No, Gerpy, I'm having sex with. Her. I've I've That's turned down sex wrong. for Dark Souls. Gerpy. No, I've, I've turned down sex for Dark Souls. I'm Gerpy, just you have a picture. Yeah, but you know. But like on I, real talk, I have like, a, I, have a, I, have a, I, have a... I, I told Danny tonight. I said, I said, Danny, I think you're cute. I like your attitude. I've been liking it for a while. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I, I find it flirty when you talk to me a certain way, and he was like really uncomfortable about it. So I, I didn't want to ruin a friendship. I, I want you to imagine that. I want you to imagine you've got an internet friend who knows that you're married and completely straight, and they're sending you drunken ravings, talking about, I think you're cute. I like the way you treat me. Would you mind if I suck your dick and maybe let me fuck you in the ass? <laughs> you know, I get it that you only like girls, but King of Paws is looking for a neg hole. And baby, you got a beautiful neg hole. I think I did. You didn't. You didn't. Don't worry. I don't know. Uh, to, to answer your question, uh, I do Did ever... you know this? Did you know this? Did he tell you this? He might have, he, he might, he might have dropped a few hints. You guys. Well, what do you, you, what, what you, you think he would do? Uh, I thought he would, like, get really freaked out. No, we just had a chuckle. Uh-huh. I don't care, we just know you, we, we understand, you you just turn into the liberal side. Now, I'm not turning into the liberal side, fuck liberals, they're fucking, I'd kill them all. You're, you're, you're exploring your, your own explorations. You're growing as a beautiful individual, you're exploring your explorations and becoming a liberal now, King of Paz, you're... And next thing you know, you're going to be marching. You're going to be with her. Hillary 2020, here we come. No, liberals are gay. And so are you. Uh, no, I'm... No. <laughs> I'm the right kind of gay. <laughs> I'm not even gay, so... I don't even know what to call it. It ain't gay to suck a man's dick. Whatever. To answer your question, yes, I do have... A dick pic, but I'm not sending it to you because I'm not proud. Send, send me his dick. It's not. It's just, I'm not going to send it. it. I'm not going to send you send my dick. Send me his dick. Says <laughs> <laughs> uh, say, I want you to send me his dick. Send, send me his dick pic. I want to look at his dick pic. <laughs> it's not funny. Send me his dick. I you just you it. just said you just demanded me to send you a dick. <laughs> Yes, I want to see Danny's dick. I don't have Danny's dick. Oh, I thought you said you had Danny's dick. No. 
have mine. Well, whose dick do you have? I don't want to see your dick. I'm not into you, Gerpy. Good. No. Oh God, no! Good. I mean, I've I've shared it with uh, I I've shared it with Andrew, Danny. Danny, I've, yeah, but see, Danny, I think Danny, I think Danny likes guys too. He, he doesn't. Yeah, he does. I don't believe he does. I think he does. I think he does. I think you're just projecting what no, you I, want. No, I'm not. Listen to me. Listen. All right. I picked up some vibes like six months ago, and uh, I thought he was like. <laughs> who would uh, Who would have ever guessed that the exceptional detective? would have a malfunctioning gaydar. <laughs> the best internet detective around has a broken gaydar. Just walk it up to straight dudes. Let me, let me see your dick. I'm not a homosexual liberal. I just want to suck your dick. What kind of... Like, Danny says and does things where, like, he's like that... Like, okay, you remember in elementary school where that one girl, like, when she liked you, she'd just bully you? Mm. You know what I mean? No, because I bully Danny all the time. Yeah, but it's not that same type of thing. Danny, like, Danny's specific. And, like, he acts like one of those little girls in elementary school that bullies a boy that he likes. How? I'm just saying, like, I think, I think how Danny. Does, how, does I he, think, how does he bully think, you in a way like, that you think? Like, all right, look, listen. I think Danny, I think Danny is, like, bi. I think he's bi. That's what I think. I can call him right now and ask. Yeah, ask him. I think he's bi. I think like he's pansexual or bi. It's one of the two. I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, I see a few people in chat asking, who is Danny? Well, apparently Danny is the man whose cock King of Pole is lusting after. He wants some of that man meat. He's got a hungering for a foot long sausage going straight down his throat. That's, that's who Danny is. Danny's the poor, poor, innocent, married, straight dude who's apparently being propositioned for sex and uh, whose dick pic is being requested quite repeatedly. Lucky boy. You think he's bi, Gerpy? I don't think he's bi. I think, I think, he, I think he, he is a sexual deviant, but I don't think he's... I thought about sending him like a dick pic, but I, I don't know how you feel about that because he was already uncomfortable. But I wanted a pic of him tonight, and he wouldn't send me one. Well, yeah, because you, because you're gonna fap to it. No, I I don't do that. Oh, you don't? No, fuck no. Then why would you want his dick pic? If this is a, it's a dude you're saying you want to suck off, and then you're asking for a picture of his cock, what possible reason other than you are going to masturbate to it would you fucking want that picture for? Oh, <laughs> he's so bad at lying. I'm very specific with my voice. That, uh, I'm going to rewind that one. He's very specific with his boys. I don't know if you caught that. His particular taste. Very, very specific about my boys. I'm very specific with my boys. Also, I like subways, and Danny's not a sub. Yeah, he's not. That's why I said you'd have to catch. But Danny, Danny would be my sub. No, he wouldn't. Yeah, he would. No, he wouldn't. He would. He, yes, he, he would. He'd refuse. No, I don't give a fuck. That's I'd tie him up. What? No. Yeah. Yes. No. Yes, I would. So he wants to kidnap poor innocent straight Danny. Tie him up and make him a, a sub boy. Because he's very specific about them. <laughs> this is the pansexual lifestyle, apparently. You have a picture of Danny? No, I don't. Garpy. I actually don't. Therapy. God damn, how thirsty are you, man? He asked that for like the last four minutes we've been listening. We've only listened for ten minutes, and four minutes of it has been re repeated requests for pictures of this dude and pictures of his dick. Long, long fucking break of silence, like ten seconds of silence, then right back into it. You got, you got any pictures of him? I know you.
I don't. You're wrong. Come on. He's a manlet. I know. And he, and he used to have hair on his shoulders. Oh no! Don't tell me that. <laughs> See, that's like a, such a turn off. He sha- I think he shaved it. He said he shaved it. I want like a clean. I like. I picture him as like a clean shaven like. British you guy. you you picture wrong. You know what makes this extra funny to me? Uh, because I was chuckling, chuckling, smugly chuckling, like the stepfather would, earlier when this audio was sent to me. Because today, <laughs> today, Joe Keem sent a picture of his testicles to King of Pole as a joke. Uh, what he didn't realize is Pole probably liked it a little more than Joe Keem realized. He likes those smooth, smooth cut sub boys. So your nice hairless ball sack, Joe Keem, is probably on his computer right now as he's jacking off while this is taking place. Nicely done. He's not clean shaven. Uh, he, I hope he is, because I, I don't date guys in here. Well, then you're not going to date him. Yeah, I think he's bi. He's still green. He's online right now. He's sleeping. He answered the phone. He said, I'm sleeping. Bye. Dude, I'm sleeping. Tell him I don't want to talk about it. Good night. That's what he said. If you tried anything, he'd be like, Brian, bend over. Yeah, I'm but, like, I have to see a picture of him. See, the problem is, is, like, I like his attitude. I don't know what he looks like, looks like. <laughs> That's, um, see? I'm sensing we might have an emotional connection here. I've been noticing blood sports for whatever reason. There are a lot of emotional connections going on. JF, when uh, he and Andy were having their breakup, JF said that it was a uh, emotional thing for him. And now King, the King of Bull, involved in hunting down cockpicks, likes his attitude. I haven't seen what this dude looks like, but he treats me so badly. I just want to be his little boy slut. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, we're only halfway through. What? Like, I'd suck his dick. <laughs> what? Why do you have to make fun of me, man? Like, I'm trying to come out to you guys. You know how many people have told you three and, like, four people? I know. It's just, so, it's just so funny hearing you say things like that. Well, come on now, Gerby. You guys know I've been gay for a year. Come on. <laughs> we're not gay. We're not gay. We- Uh-oh. Uh, somebody slipped up. We're not pansexual anymore. We're just straight up gay. You know what I mean, like, pansexual. I, I don't I, know. Bisexual? No. I, no, we didn't. How did you not know? Because... How did you not know? How did you not know looking at me that I am a raging homosexual? How did you not know looking at me that I lust for cock pictures? How did you How did you not know that I wanted to trick you into coming to Tampa and tie you up and make you my little sub boy? <laughs> how did that slip past you? Just Dude, I was I was sexting Naked Ape. Are you kidding me? Oh boy. We're drawing more people into the fun time now. Let's uh let's back that one up a minute. <laughs> I think Naked Ape might have something to say about this stream. Uh oh, I lost my place. I think that's where it was. Gay, not gay, but you know what I mean, like pansexual. I, I don't uh, know. No. Bisexual, I, it's no, we didn't. How did you not know? Because you just talked Dude, I was I was sexting Naked Ape. Are you kidding me? You didn't tell us that until... Right, because I was afraid, man. Like, Oh, boy. Doesn't Naked Ape have a boyfriend? Naked Ape, what are you doing? Are you cheating on your boyfriend? Are you letting King of Pole get cockpicks from you? <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Imagine what happened if the internet found out, like, if those people found out, like, I was bisexual. Right, what? right. What would they fucking... I mean, I'm not, we're not gonna... We're not, fuck, we're, my parents... What, what would the internet do... What would the internet do if they found out? Oh, we're, we're going to find out. I guess we're going to find out what the reaction is. Uh, shortly after this concludes. It's, it's going to be a memorable stream. Well, let's, uh, chat, do you want to put a guess in for what you think uh, the reaction is going to be after we're done playing all this glorious audio? Uh, give me a one for they're going to make fun of him uh, because this is funny as shit. Give me a two for they're going to respect him as a new, proud, liberal pansexual. One, make fun of him. Two, respect his pansexuality, chat. I, and I know. I, again, if there's a moment of silence, I'm not praying for Baked Alaska, just waiting for chat to catch up. We'll see what it looks like. We'll see what numbers we get.
I'm seeing an awful lot of ones starting to shoot by. I don't know, maybe that's just momentary. <laughs> I'm not seeing any twos. I'm not seeing... Oh, we've got a two. I think that was Naked Ape. I think Naked Ape left us a two, but mostly we're getting ones. <laughs> we're mostly getting ones. I, just, I mean, it hurts. It's, it just fucks. Like it's just not comfortable. I've got I've got weird reasons for why I don't do stuff like the the butt stuff. Just I'm not into it. Are you, for, are you bi? I'm not bi. No, I'm just are saying sure? hypothetically. Even if I was like, you, even if sure a girl thing? asked, yeah, I'm positive. I'm not attracted. To, I don't find men attractive. I mean, like you know. I mean, I, I see, don't find men. Sex I'm, the only thing I've seen is your feet pictures, and I don't want to see your feet ever again. You've seen my feet pictures? Apparently, apparently, Paul is talking to Repsion. Uh oh, everybody's information's coming out today. Feet pics. You sent like a. Oh, I showed you a picture that I don't have a toenail on. You one sent of my like feet. a picture of a girl and like your foot was in it and it was disgusting. It wasn't. Dude, it just doesn't have a toenail. It's not that bad. I don't know. I wish you really never sent that picture of that girl. She was ugly. She was not ugly. She was super fucking hot, and her vagina felt mm -hmm. amazing. Mm -hmm. No, um... I don't know. Kirby, I mean, like, let's be honest. Like, how big is your penis? Come on. Like, do you notice a transition? This thirsty individual. Going from wanting dick pics of the other dude, whose attitude he finds just so adorable, to now wanting dick pics of the dude he's talking to about the other dude. And both of them are straight. Both of them have told him, we aren't gay. We're not bisexual, but he's already he's already transitioning. Appropriate use of the word there, by the way. You, know what, you see, it's a little humor. Already transitioning into trying to hit on the other dude now. Six. Uh, let me see. I'm not let. No, I can't do that. I don't. I'm Why? Not, uh, I can't like will myself an erection to take a picture. I mean, like you probably already have some dick pics. Come on. Mm, they're not very good. Garpy, come on. Nah. Garpy. When I get when I get some good dick pics, I'll give them to you. Okay. This is the dude that you wouldn't want to have at a sleepover. The guy that you probably aren't gonna want to drink half a bottle of whiskey with. Because you're gonna wake up with your pants around your ankles and his mouth attached to your penis. Come on, just send me your dick pic. <laughs> He's trying to let him down so gently about it. I, you know, I, I do. I have some dick pics, but the angles aren't really great. I want to work on the lighting a little bit. Maybe get it professionally done. Really highlight my my best features before I start sending gay men on the internet pictures of my penis. Uh. Cause the thing is, mine's like a bit thicker than normal, so. <laughs> So from certain angles, it looks smaller than it is because mm. proportionately, I'm a little thicker. But no, the, the reason I wouldn't, nor, I'm, I, I'm not really into the idea of butt stuff is because even if like a, a cute girl was like, hey, can I, I'll stick my finger in your butt, I'd, I'd be like, mm. Uh, it's, uh, it'd be because it's not clean. Oh, God, Gerpy, come on, dude, wipe your ass. I do, no, I, I do, it's just, I'd be afraid that it wasn't completely clean. You know Jesus, what I mean? Jesus, Gerpy. And I, wrong. I'm the same, no, it's the same way about, and Gerpy. I feel the same way about, unless they cleaned it beforehand, I'm hesitant. Like, I'd have had to clean it beforehand. You know what I mean? You hear the the, the tickety tackety tacking of his fucking keyboard in the background? You think he's Google searching ass eating right now? Like, what are you gonna tell me about my stuff? Well, dude, I don't really like having people play with my ass. I'm a straight man. Oh, come on, come on! I just want to stick my tongue in there and just, I just want to suck the sherbet shit right out of your poop chute. <laughs> what the fuck is this audio? Yeah. Like I'd have had to prep. I'm not gonna do it. Like I'm not gonna do it spare of the moment. I, I'd I mean, have had. I've had. I'd have, I'd have had to prep. Yeah. 
Derpy. What? You have a picture of Danny? I don't have a picture of Danny, no. God damn, that's like the fucking 80th time he's asked that. Do you get, do you get a picture of Danny? We're um, 17 minutes in. It's 26 minutes long. So we've got about nine minutes left. But uh, repeatedly, after every little bit of silence, he wants those pictures. He desperately wants those pictures. Maybe that's what he was Googling. He's looking, looking up Danny. He wanted to see if he's a hairless sub boy. I want to see Danny. Oh, I can't help he won't give me. He won't give me a picture. He's all awkward about it now. Yeah, because he thinks you're going to fap to him. No, I don't do that, man. That's disgusting. Come on now. I, I, fuck, you guys were all like watching porn with Angel when she first came in, and I thought you guys were faggots, and I was mad at you for doing that. Yeah, but we disgusting. don't. Yeah, but, but here's the thing the porn was of people we didn't know. Right, but I don't do that. Like, I don't. I'm not a degenerate like that. I'm not a degenerate. I thought all you guys were a bunch of fags. Let that sink in. Let it sink in that a dude who calls himself King of Pole. Are, is calling a group of straight dudes degenerates after talking about sub boys, hairless boys, pansexuality, and playing with somebody's asshole. Just let that let that delicious irony just crush your fucking soul. What do you mean? You, you're not gonna you're not gonna fap to someone you know? Yes, I don't definitely don't do that. That's fucking disgusting. See, that's I'm the same way about that. Some people think that's weird. Gerpy. Hmm. Oh, oh, show me a picture, Dan. Come on, I know you got one. I do not have one. This is the rhythm of the night. Oh my god, I want to break his fucking keyboard. God, is that annoying. Holy shit, is that insane. Just tickety-tickety-tap. Just keep just typing away. You're just going to have to take my word for it. I do not have... See, I wouldn't suck Danny's penis because he's got... Oh, you're not going to know about that, big boy. Mm -mm -mm. Sorry to cock block you, big boy. That would be <laughs> That would be the redaction I was talking about earlier. Apparently Teddy swung by and didn't want anybody to hear that portion. You're gonna have to ask Invisible Crane <laughs> what was there. So, so then you're, then you wouldn't be able to do anything with him. No, I'd fuck him in his ass though. He wouldn't let you. Yeah, but I want him to talk to me the way he talks to me online. I like how Danny talks to me. <laughs> Stop making fun of me, man. Don't make fun of me, dude. I just want to be talked to badly, all right? It's my kink. It turns me on. I'm just your totally average dude, bro. And I just want to have my hair pulled and you have you spit in my mouth. Maybe paddle my ass a little bit. Then I'll tie you up and fuck you. Totally normal dude things. I'm. It's just weird. I can, I can make fun of you. I'm not going to hate you. It's it's a funny it's funny hearing you say stuff like that. I don't know. I just like I like how Danny Danny talks to me. That's why I like like I always like messaging him. It's cute, man. I like how he's like he's like you know. I don't know. Like he always gets like flustered and stuff, and it's really cute. I always think he's flirting with me. He's not flirting with you. Are you sure, man? I think I'm he's bi. I'm positive he's not flirting with you. I wish he wasn't sleeping. What? I said, I wish Danny wasn't asleep. I want to talk to him. Oh. See, now he knows. This is weird. It is a bit weird. Uh, also, I should note the audio you're hearing, the music track that starts playing in the background, uh, that was added by the other call participant. It's a nice choice. I would have gone with It's Raining Men, but Rhythm of the Night seems to fit this pretty well. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you know, I always hear stories about how dudes are, you know, hungry as shit for cam horse, right? Like, won't leave them alone, messaging them all times, trying to get nudes, trying to hit, them on, or hit on them, meet up with them, that kind of stuff. We're seeing the gay version of that. 
It's been nothing but 20 minutes of him asking for pictures and then wishing Danny was on so he could be his beautiful little pansexual sub-boy. But he's all married. Yeah, I don't, I don't give a fuck about that. I just, you know, I don't mind flirting on the internet. Right. I see you, Chad. Queen of pole. <laughs> I'm gonna go to bed. Okay. I'm drunk. Please then... fucking don't tell Danny or like your Discord friend. I don't really need my thread bomb. I told you, I don't. Like, I don't talk to yes. anyone on Discord anymore. This is like really, really sensitive to me. Like just right. Don't I get. I understand. I don't talk to anyone on Discord. You, you swear you're not gonna fucking. This isn't gonna go into Kiwi Farm. No, I would never do that. chat now you have to promise me all 14,500 of you that you won't put this onto kiwi farms because that would be very bad he doesn't he doesn't want that queen of pull is totally fine with flirting with people online but he doesn't want his thread getting bombed so keep it a secret it's a secret between all 14,500 of us remember remember when um you and censored for being too hot. You're a really good friend, man. I'm sorry for being such an asshole. Oh, that's alright. I don't know how they found out about it. I mean they'd probably just put the pieces together when they mm. Yeah. Yeah, no. I only find Danny attractive out of our group. Only because like Danny Danny's attitude, I like his attitude, because he's really rough with me. Oh, he's so rough with me. I just love it. I just love it when he's just mean to me. It's just so good. If you want to get on, if you want to get on Queen of Bulls side, if you really want to get in good with him, you got to go treat him roughly. And just remember that. If you're if you're looking for a, a <laughs> boyfriend tonight, chat, just be rough with him. Just be just be dominant. What? Do you know, do you understand how silly that sounds? Yeah, but you don't understand. Like Danny always like responds to me like like he's just he he acts like that girl in elementary school that's like bullying you, but she really likes you, and like it just it's kind of hot. I I don't know. I don't I don't see it. I just couldn't get into Danny because like I don't know what he looks like, but I censored for being too hot. <laughs> but like, the, if he just could just keep treating me the way he does, like that's so hot. That's so hot. Ver he just verbally abusing you? Yeah, I kind of like it. I mean, no, he doesn't verbally abuse me. Like he, he just, you know, he's just like. I'd like to send out a special message to Null at Kiwi Farms. All those times you've yelled at Pole uh, and got upset with him and told him you're gonna kick him off the website and get the fuck out of the thread and that you can't stand him. Apparently, that turns him on. So maybe maybe you want to change tactics because instead of leaving your website alone, uh, it looks like he's looking for a date now, buddy. Looks like maybe he wants you to treat him a little rougher, if you know what I mean. He's rough on the edges, and I can like dig it, you know. What the fuck does that mean? I don't know, but like I kind of wanted some dick pics tonight, but I, I don't know how he'd feel about that. He would he would send them to us. That's what he would do. And I hope we, he wouldn't do that. Well, we wouldn't send them to anyone else. It would just be between this group. Angel. Angel would want them. Why would Angel want my dick? No, she can't have my dick pic. She can see my outline. You can give her my outline because I have a big dick. But my dick's like like almost eight inches, dude. Yeah, that's it's ridiculous. Like, yeah. That's, you see my outline. It's pretty. Yeah, fucking... it's 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 pretty intimidating. Yeah, I got a big dick. Like all the single men out there, if you've heard that, if somebody wants you to see their big dick. <laughs> if you're a sub boy looking for a pansexual relationship, big dick, queen of polls, all for you. I, I don't want to fuck Danny with it, but you know. You might have a big dick, but I can probably last longer. You than think? You, know. you think? Like, I want to see a picture of Danny. Like, is he like? You know? I mean, what does he look like? I'd say objectively, he's a good-looking dude. I like I like femboys though. Like I don't no, he is not a femboy. If, if they got facial hair, I can't do it. Like, yeah, gotta be clean he's together. he's not a femboy. I'm sorry to say. Oh, you hear that, femboys? 
<laughs> Can you hear the he, rhythm he of the night? He is not a femboy at all. I know he's not, and that's what I like about it. Because usually I like femboys. Like, I like subs, and, like, he's not. And I just, like... I like I like for like at least like six months now. Like I, Danny, weird. <laughs> like you know, well, he's like he he talks to me about like serious shit and like he, he listens, and um, you know, I don't talk about shit like that. And like, I got really mad yesterday because like I wanted to watch the game awards with him and he didn't come in, and I was like really upset because I was like I really wanted to hang out with him. <laughs> What? Why do you gotta laugh at me, dude? It's such a weird. It's just weird hearing you say this stuff. I don't know. Well, you're gonna tell him, aren't you? Well, he's gonna find out. Yeah. Well, I'm. I'm trying not to ruin a friendship because I don't. Wanna... It, you're not gonna ruin a friendship. Don't worry. The rhythm of the night. Uh. God, I bet you when Jim finds out, he's gonna just give me so much shit. Oh, oh, <laughs> that was an accurate prediction. That was a fair prediction. When Jim finds out, he's gonna give me so much shit. Yeah, yeah, no, this is extra. This is this is pretty funny to me. Yeah, let's. We've only got two more minutes. Let's just finish it off. Let's let's listen to the rest. Yeah. <sighs> Fuck. It's, yeah, as if Jim talks. Jim's like never on. I was supposed to be home. I like I went out with friends. They're like, "Oh, come drink!" And I got absent. And spent like eighty dollars tonight, and I wish I didn't. Oh Jesus! Like, yeah, we tripped out and got drunk, and then I admitted to them that I was pan like fucking pansexual, and they were like, "Oh my god, you're fucking amazing!" And I was like, uh, "I don't want to talk about it." All right. I'm gonna go. You know what? You could tell Danny their conversation, but don't make, don't embarrass me. I oh. won't. All right. Well, I'm gonna go to sleep. Okay. You 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 enjoy yourself. All right. All right. All right. And, and just just don't embarrass me if you well, talk to Danny about this. All right. I'm 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 happy that you're coming out of your shell. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why. I just like the way Danny talks to me. <laughs> I, but I, I guarantee you, though, when I see what he looks like, I'm probably gonna be like, "Ah, oh, never mind." I'm, I'm probably... Yeah, probably. I think I think he's an all right looking like, dude. But... Uh, yeah, but I like femboys. Like, if yeah. they're too masculine. He's, it's a problem. Like, he's, and he's he's not a femboy. Like, if I'm sorry. It, like I like I like traps and femboys. So like, if it's not boy pussy, then I'm gonna be like, "Oh God, no." It, it, should, should I rewind that chat? Would you like to hear that again? Talking about his preference for. Hairless femboy boy pussy. I think so. I think that that I think that deserves a second listen. He looks like I'm probably gonna be like, ah, oh, never mind. I'm, I'm probably. Yeah, probably. I think I think he's an all right. I like dude, but... uh, yeah, but I like femboys. Like if yeah. they're too masculine. He's, it's a problem. Like, he's, and he's he's not a femboy. Like if I'm it, sorry. Uh, like I like I like traps and femboys. So like if it's not boy pussy, then I'm gonna be like, oh god, no, it's I'm not. Good. It is not. Oh boy, I can only imagine how hairy he is down there. Oh Jesus, girl! It, we don't do that. If he's got hair on his shoulders. All right, I gotta go. I gotta go. All right, okay. Good All right. Good night. Well, chat. I told you it was uh, it was an entertaining bit of audio. Uh, I don't know. Let me pull the room. Let me let me throw the chat up on here. Uh, just one second. Yeah, I'll move that over just a little bit. Can I do that while I'm doing this? Oh yeah, there we go. Okay. Lock that down. There we go. Uh, I'll give you a minute to catch up, and then you tell me what you think. Uh, give me a one, I guess, if you think uh, Paul's going to get a lot of offers for boy pussy tonight. Give me a two if people are going to laugh at him. Give me a three if you think this is embarrassing. Or give me a four if he's a beautiful, brave, pansexual liberal that needs to come out of the closet and let the world know that he wants some hot, sexy femboy. Oh, the numbers are coming in. They're starting to they're starting they're starting to come in a little bit. Oh, I got a few fours there. Just need to embrace it. You need to you need to embrace your lust for cock. Oh, I, I'm seeing a people a few people are taking the brave stance and saying, "Fuck it, let's go with all the numbers. Let's just put them all up there. Every option is a good option. 
for this evening. Every, every single number. It's what you need to do. Now, chat, did I lie to you? Did I not tell you that I had some amazing audio for this evening? Did I not tell you that this would be an entertaining Meadowcast? You got to hear a, a drunken man thirsty for some dick. A brave pansexual, liberal, femboy-loving, boy-pussy-eating, brave individual. <laughs> Just hunger for it. We, we, we should respect that. We should, we should offer words of encouragement for this brave decision moving forward and his new life as Queen of Pole or King of Paws, whichever you like. Both are equally uh, amusing. Both are, are good choices to go with. Oh, I'm glad. Uh, chat seems to have enjoyed this. I, I hope I've entertained you with my offering of audio. I, t I told you I would keep it brief. Talked a little bit about IBS and the shit show that's unfolded there. Had some fun with the King of Pole audio, uh, which I think is memorable, which I think people are going to enjoy quite a bit. And now we'll do the chat portion of the stream. Read those super chats. Pound through that shit, as Adam Worski would say. And read some of the live chat while we're doing it. Not, I'm not forgetting you free motherfuckers out there. Still addressing the normal chat as well. So give me a moment to pull up the super chat shit, because I've got to go through some stupid fucking thing. And then we'll, we'll read through some of them and uh, banter back and forth, chat. Just give me one second. Okay, this might take more than <laughs> this might take more than one second. Uh, almost there. Okay. Had some pre-stream super chats. I'll start with those. Work my way up, and we'll alternate between super chats and normal chat. Savage machines for two dollars first. Well, you are technically correct. You were first to give money. Uh, job well done. Message from Kiwi Farms for two dollars. Pull this off, and I will donate one hundred dollars to any charity. I don't know if uh, Kiwi Farms is going to be donating to uh, a charity out there, and I don't know what you... I, if find a pansexual awareness charity and donate that $100 in the name of Queen of Pole. I'm sure I'm sure he would appreciate that quite a bit. Didn't do nothing for 100 Das right. Well, das is right. We, uh, we, we had a little bit of fun. Chairman of Chairman for $2. That's fucking based. Viva La Rasa. No. Not gonna, not gonna play any sound clips. I'd want to shoot myself if I was going to do that. From the third guy for five dollars, fucking maced, which is probably what should have happened when people play those goddamn sound cues every five minutes. From Dank Uzablu for two dollars, boomers truly are our greatest allies. Allah Akbar, Inshallah, Inshallah, brother, embrace it. From Ink Penification for five dollars, Oy vey, Jim Goldenstein. Where's the Wings video, you goddamn goy? I've been distracted laughing at this fucking audio all day. I don't think you can blame me for that. I think this audio was quite amusing. I don't know why Invisible Crane was so insistent that I play it, but <laughs> I don't disagree with him. Uh, the Wings video is coming up. Put a lot of work into it. It's going to be a nice long video. Need a little more time, but I am working on it. $2 or $1.99 from Boober Lee. I am part of the YouTube Wrench No State. Please wrench me. Uh, let me check something here really quick. Okay, audio's fine. Uh, no, Booberly, I will not wrench you. There are no wrenches here. There are no mods here. Chat is free to say whatever the fuck chat wants to say. I'm not going to have people police each other. That's just stupid. $5 from Fence Sitter. Gives Jim your money goys. Or give Jim your money goys. $5 from Osir with no message. I'm going to guess they probably... Forgot to type something out or it didn't show up for some reason? Ed Boy for $5. Mundane Matt is fat. Hey, <laughs> hey, no. Mundane Matt is a, uh, he's, he's, he's a girthy guy. He's a bit big. He's a little pudgy. I suppose you could say that's, that's true. That is true. Uh, let's see what regular chat is. We'll take a small break here. Read some regular chat. Uh, they want to talk about the JQ. We'll go to the JQ later. I'll, I'll come back to that. Who did 9-11? I will also address that, chat. The JQ and 9-11, we'll get to that. 
from Justin Lewis for $10. Buy yourself a beer and some Cancer Meds Gym. Not sure how many cancer medications you could buy with $10, but hopefully the beer will make me forget that I'm going to die from cancer. Scrublet for $10. You should have aborted your son. That's, that's sage advice. Should have put him in a fucking blender. Trump Nation for $9.99. Get well soon. $5 from El Changeo. Hope you guys brought some Vaseline. If you're going to be paused with AIDS, might as well make it pleasant. Now that is somebody that has foresight. Because I'm, I'm fairly certain that super chat came well before the audio we just listened to. So El Changeo, way to fucking call it. Kiwi Farms again for $10. Getting mad at how people spend their money. $5 from Muhala Memula. M- Muhala Memula? Okay. Jim was getting JF and Andy to break up part of your plan. Here's some shekels, you dirty kike. Hopefully Jade won't give you more AIDS. Well, yeah, she is tied up in her pen out in the fucking cornfield, so I think I should be safe. Was getting JF and Andy to break up part of your plan? Not at all. I merely like watching people yell at each other. And yet somehow the drama imploded on them. Gray-haired snake for $10. Smash that like button for the return of the Meadowcast. Booberly again for $1.99. Max France is the only thought here. Beard Ninja 85 for $12.84. Again, no message. I'm going to guess they... Uh, where there must maybe there's a glitch i don't know i don't use super chat so maybe there's something fucked up with it i'll try to refresh it and check those again from vge drr thank you for your service for 1488 appreciate the 1488 dog munch for a dollar 99 viva la toxicity yeah chat you're being too toxic we need to be inclusive here queen of pole needs our support today and dog munch has the right idea grave mine for five pounds at Boober Lee, <laughs> I am a monument to all your sins. Apparently confusing her with Cortana. Disky Fringo for 10. Jim, why can't I hold all these limes? <laughs> at least you were able to set him down before he had a good laugh listening at that fucking amazing audio. $50 from Marauder Shields. Where's the video, Jimbo? Uh, again, a few more days. Within the next day or so. It's, it's near the very end. Para hacks for fourteen eighty eight memes. From Sedu uh, for five dollars. Two thousand watching and only four hundred and six likes. Fix your shit, bitch made faggots. Always have to love those messages of positivity. We're all very positive today, just like Queen of Poles. Got to pause that shit up. Ed boy for two dollars. Medica is the best wife who fight me in real life. Viking Viking for two dollars. Two dollars to say read siege. Chat, you need to read siege. Viking Viking spent $2 to get you to listen to that. Go read Siege. Johnny Joestar for $5. Pound through my super chat daddy. I'm sad to say, Johnny, I'm not gay. But luckily for you, if you're a femboy, I know somebody who might be interested. Hit up Queen of Pole. Might need to manhandle them a little bit, but I think they're looking. Stan Jarvis for $10. Slabs are white. Let's uh, pour out a drink for our Adidas-loving squatters. Four ninety nine from Cham Mosi, <laughs> Ch- uh, Cham Moshi Hebowitz. Is Medicar Senpai going to notice me? Am I kawaii enough now, Jim Coon? Again, I'm going to have to direct you over to Queen of Pole. He might find you very kawaii. Uh, another ten from Muhala Maimula. Jim, none of these idiot IBS guys thought to have any Kur- or Kemet members fight each other. I think you're in the position to do that. Shaka Amos and Farah Ali versus Richard Spencer and Millennial Woes. I would love to see that. I watched a shit ton of Megalodon and Uncle Shug. Those guys are funny as shit. Uh, they're two Kemet live streamers. And I would love to see people like that. Or Shaka Amos or Farah Ali or any of the bigger names in that community. Go head to head with people with the uh, same kind of idea about an ethno state, but just for a different race. I- I'd love to hear the argument between Kemet and white nationalists. That would be fucking amazing. Absolutely. Uh, for 1488, bottom text. Low T for New Zealand, $10. Read this super chat or your mother will die in her sleep. Thankfully, mom's going to be okay tonight. The Orange Cow for 50 Everyone say a prayer for Sweetheart Jim so he doesn't die of gout-infused cancer AIDS. I think he'll be okay when it comes to the AIDS part. I haven't slept over at King of Pole's house. hey oh, hey oh. Alex for 5 Uh, No message attacks, er, attached to that one. Again, I'll try to refresh and see if there's some kind of glitch. Problematic White Knight for 20 Repeal the 19th, White Sharia now, Nuke Africa. <laughs> nice. 
nice international message of peace. I'm going to swing back over to real chat here, to the live chat, because let's see what you're thinking. And again, I'm going to have to wait a moment to catch up. Uh, one of the earlier questions that somebody in live chat had asked was, who did 9-11? Saudi Arabia, obviously. That's your answer. I know we want to say it's the Jews. I'm sure they were dancing and clapping as it happened. I'd probably put my money on Saudi Arabia being involved in that. Just throwing that one out there. Uh, people seem to like the Queen of Pole name. I don't blame you. It's, uh, it's very entertaining. Okay. Where are we here? All right. Hey, man, nice shot for twenty four ninety five. Sweep the leg, Jim. You got a problem with that. Cobra Kai all the way. No mercy. Blue Satoshi for $2. Windows 10 LTBS is what Windows 10 should have been. I'll take that under advisement. I would rather be w using Windows 7. I fucking hate Windows 10. Uh, at least it's not as bad, I guess, as Windows 8 when it initially came out. I, I, you know, I wouldn't say that it's better than Vista. Vista had some issues, but I, I just, I fucking hate Windows 10. Colin Archer for 666, I'm guessing that's rubles. I'm going to bed. Good night, Jim. Good night, Colin. Osir for $10 Canadian. You're a fucking legend, Jim. Mitch R for $2 eCeleb Gossip Sports. Well, I can't, I can't disagree. I can't get, I can't disagree with that. I'm TMZ and the shit out of this. Uh, Chame Moshi Hebowitz again for nine ninety nine. If you don't respond to this super chat, this internet saga will end tonight. Fuck mods and fuck kikes. I, <laughs> it's, it's a very brave stance, but Mr. Hebowitz is Jewish, so he can say that. He's allowed to say that as a Jewish man. I'm just reading his message. Stoner McMuffin for $5. Have you looked into the allegations about Ben from the Drunken Peasants being a pedo? Uh, no, I, I've heard vague rumblings about it, but I actually don't know much about it. I think somebody explained it partially maybe three or four weeks back, but outside of that, I really don't know. Uh, Marilyn Monroe, the boomer thought, for two. Scrub said he wants to co-host his dad's show. That's never going to fucking happen. There are no co-hosts here. No co-host, no mods, fuck that noise. Hooded Angel for five. You're my you're my favorite anime villain of all time. That'll work. I'll take that one. I'm looking at live chat right now. Nuke Africa. A few people are saying <laughs> they're talking about clipping out the audio segment. Uh, this stream will be up if you want to listen later on. I'm not planning on pulling it down, uh, but it would probably not hurt to clip out the audio that you're interested in. You never know what's going to happen. One one two 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 one one for five dollars. <laughs> well, no, I'm not going to read that. I see that. That's very ingenious. It's it's very clever. I believe that's Erin, our girl Erin. Uh, her information, her personal information. You're allowed to say it, but I'm not going to read that one in particular, because she's probably going to think it's a love invitation or some shit. And the last thing I want is a crack whore near me. Gabriel for ten dollars Canadian, you motherfucking Joker Medicare lol. Sans wine for five, have some shekels, and CR is a Jew. Uh, I you know I, I do enjoy shekels, but I'd prefer coach coins. The hottest new cryptocurrency there is. If you're not familiar with what a coach coin is, it's a Machiavellian currency by the mastermind behind everything that's been going on for the last six months. Just keep that a secret though. John Titer for two dollars. Please go on the Daily Showa. They keep wanting you. Ah, uh, yeah, I'll go on the Daily Showa. Scrubet again, or Scrublet for five again. Uh, big influencers, please respond. Obviously, talking about the baked Alaska a bit earlier on. Spurgmeister for nine ninety nine. Take my money, Jimbo. Uh, I'm losing myself in this fucking list. All right, there we go. Bubblegum, <laughs> bubblegum gun for five. Gas the working class. Almost every single war in the last century has been done in the name of the worker. In the uh, in the the of the worker. End the cycle, crush, syndic crush syndicalist, union scum. I probably completely fucked that up and you're going to want a refund. Sorry, no refunds. I'm, I'm burning the shit out of this. There are no refunds. 
Got to jump into my $80,000 car now and go fundraise. KS Wheels for five. Social media personalities using the word influencer in public is sort of like WWE using the words push, work, shoot, and kayfabe openly on TV. I, yeah, I don't disagree with that. I can't stand the fucking term influencer. You're not influencing anything. People may give you money in super chats. You may make some money through ad revenue, and they may watch and like your content. But nobody's going to go buy a fucking house or a car or a name brand just because your dumbass said anything. So, yeah, influencer is a retarded term. Gabriel Lopez for 50. Uh, hashtag Team Andy. 99, or 999 from not Lex. Uh, no message attached, or attached on that one. HTRTU for 40 rubles. Toxic is a toothless version of faggot. Well, that would make Overwatch more entertaining. It would make Blizzard seem like they're not giant gaping pussies, but they are. I don't think they're. I don't think they're. They're trying to tone that one down. I think toxic is a word that thirteen-year-old girls use when they get their feelings hurt. Uh, Seal for five. Listen to my voice on my channel. That C Y A E L wants you to listen to their voice on their channel for five. Junior Junior for four ninety-nine. When will uh, when will euthanasia be legalized? I hate living on this gay planet. Well, probably not anytime soon, and it just got a little bit gayer if you listen to the audio we just got finished with. Kankri Vantes for four ninety nine. Love lo- love you, Mister Meadow Kitty. I'm gonna go drink some bleach now. Thank you for that. James James Russell for two dollars. Thanos did nothing wrong. Dreadwolf for four ninety nine. Fandoms ruin everything, even your own. But don't stop with what you're doing. Uh, but just don't go all messiah complex. Also, I'm not for either. I agree. Phantoms are shit. Foxhound6364 for five. Let's bang out some super chats. We are doing that. And we will take a pause from the super chats to uh, shoot the shit and talk to live chat now. Grab a drink here. One second. Uh, yeah, I live. You know what? Let me throw it up on screen here. Shit, I keep forgetting to do that. Again, I'm not used to this version of OBS. So, uh, there we go. Uh, Thanos did nothing wrong. A live chat is agreeing with you. I haven't seen the Avengers movie. I have no real interest in going to see it because it's going to be nothing like the fucking comic, is it? They don't. They don't, they don't even. They've got like a tenth the fucking characters involved. I just go read the goddamn comic if I was interested. Uh, Nuke the Kumite, from that guy with the plates, I think it said. Apparently not a fan of Tonka Saw and Failure. Uh, Jade is disappointed. Disappointed in my stream. Well, I'll have to do better. <laughs> Somebody wants to know how old King of Pulls Dick is. I don't know. I mean, he did use the plural form of boys quite a bit in that conversation, so it's not like it's his first time at the rodeo. That dick has seen some shit, <laughs> if you get what I'm saying. Uh, leave me alone, Lex. Uh, yeah, Lex sleeps upside down. You know, we all get that one. Open borders for Israel. Got a lot of politically minded individuals in the chat tonight. A lot of, a lot of political people. All right, let's jump back into the super chats here. Uh, Two dollars from Guts. What about Aiden's huge nips, Jim? <laughs> I wouldn't know. I'm not looking up fucking pictures of Aiden's tits. I've got a nice big pair here attached to a cute Asian chick. I have no need to look at Aiden's apparently pepperoni-sized nipples. Fijal Naraj for five pounds. I miss the days of Sargoy versus Richard Spencer. It was an entertaining show. Up Uber Lee again for $1.99. Hashtag Team Andy. Worski Ghetto. Fascist squid for two dollars. Hitler gassing Jews for super chats. Woo lad. R Jeffrey fourteen for five. Jim, you lazy shit. Where's the wings video? Already, already went over it. Mame enthusiast for five. There's no message attached. I'll, I'll try again to refresh and see if I can get it to come through. Ninja work one 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 for two dollars. Jim run for president. If Trump won, you can too. Uh, no, nobody's gonna vote for a fucking YouTuber. And I say that with full awareness that Sticks is running for office. Good luck to him, but. Uh, I would not vote for some guy from the internet, no matter how politically aligned they were to me, especially for fucking president. Eric uh, Falken, Falkenhein? I'm probably saying that wrong for five. Twink Fuhrer der SS. 
Is that is that what we're gonna call Queen of Pole, the Twink Fuhrer? Yeah, that works. Dirt Pants for nine ninety nine. I know you've mentioned listening to ONA. Did you ever listen to Ron and Fez too? Fez was fucking crazy and would get on emotional meltdown on a regular basis. Some good shit there. Yes, I am aware of Fez, and I've heard him have his fucking meltdowns. Zemeckis Lebowski for two. Jim, you're gay. Never stop the YouTube, please. Marauder Shields for 50. Where's the Wings video, Faggot Boy? Hurtful. It's very, it's very hurtful. There's too much toxicity here. Edmund Ploppy for two dollars. Worski eats. <laughs> what? Worski eats McDonald's sauce. <laughs> Worski eats McDonald's sauce off the floor. And just gets right down there and licks that shit up. Logical conclusion of tolerance for five. Yo, Medicare, give me a quick rundown on Kanye Kekistani connection. Trump in the next year or in the next step for the globalist conspiracy. And then a string of numbers. I have no idea what the fucking Kanye Kekistani connection is. I, I only found it funny that Kanye and Chance were, you know, uh, talking shit about Democrats on Twitter and social media. It, it's like a weird trade. It's like uh, the Democrats got, that's an awfully hot coffee pot. And the Republicans got Kanye and Chance, which I think they got the better deal on. If you're a fucking rapper and you're trying freestyle and you are you get up there and you actually say the lines, that's an awfully hot coffee pot, you should get shot in the face. That should be the end of you. That was fucking horrible. He's supposed to be like this lyrical wordsmith. That's an awfully hot coffee pot. What a joke. <laughs> Jesus. Syringe cycle for ten. Please do mention or please do more of these streams, Jim. Reform Bugman for two dollars. Shut up and take my money. I don't know if you could be reformed if you're giving me super chat money. I uh, yeah, yeah, I'm just saying. Uh, looks like Ozier had his message finally come through. Uh, Canadian ten. Uh, watching garbage fires just helps remind us that as twisted and demented as we as individuals can be, there are others out there who could never hold a candle to. Take my fucking money, Jim. For 66 and 60 rubies. <laughs> I'm sorry. I went a little, I went a little link on you there. From, uh, from HTRTU. Now that's fucking based. Oh, there you go. That Indian dude for five. I think the blood sports people underestimated how much of their money came from white nationalists. Andy and co were so happy to indulge in it. I don't disagree. I think that JR uh, in particular probably brought in a certain element of the audience that probably paid better than most people did. And I think Andy is probably going to suffer an economic hit uh, now that that audience has obviously moved away from him. Who knows? Maybe he'll do a stream and he'll get 20,000 people watching and all the liberals will throw him $100 bills. I have no idea, but I, I do agree with you. I think he I think he might have uh, yeah, underestimated the cash influx. Willow01 for five. You're the Zodiac Killer of YouTube, Jim. You madman? Too quickly for five. Andy and Jeff were a great combination. Gay as hell breakup. Holy shit, reading this stuff makes your voice go bad. Stop fucking <laughs> Okay. I'm trying to I'm trying to catch up. I'm never gonna fucking catch up. Uh, let me let me talk to live chat for a minute. Try to break this up, keep it going here. See, you know, I wish that fucking YouTube would let you do a poll, because then I could ask you what subject live chat would like to talk about, and I could just put it at the top, and then you could all vote on it. I'm sure that can't be difficult to implement. Fucking Twitter can do it. Just be able to throw up a poll option you can vote on right away would be really nice in a live stream situation, but apparently you can't do that. That would be too, that would be too fucking simple. Uh, there we go. Uh, Jim did 9-11, seeing a lot of influencers with some uh, artwork attached to it. Oh, very nice, very nice. Uh, somebody's saying, check King of Poles Twitter. Okay, well, let me, let me go do that. I will check King of Poles Twitter. You're going to have to give me a second here. No, it's freezing up. Oh, uh, shit. Did I fuck my stream up doing that? No, I didn't. All right. Let us go take a look. Let us let us see what, uh, what people are throwing my way. Uh, okay, this is from King of Pole 16 minutes ago. No, I'm just doing my videos. We was Medicare had it correct when he said he's going to hate me for this. 
our group of friends are talking to me right now on things too. Uh, and people are asking, asking him about what he what he appreciates when it comes to his preference of shaved bottom boys. So we will we'll do another checkup on that later on. <laughs> we'll we'll take a look at that later on. Uh, Ivan Vakanov uh, for nine ninety nine. Jim, you're being mean. I don't like it. Please go to JF's alt right hug box and get an Aspie girlfriend. I don't think I will. I like it at the Meadowcast, where you can talk as much shit as you want in the chat. AJ.MP3 for nine ninety nine. Hello, Jim. Big fan of you. A long time. I host a show on the uh, Wentworth Institute of Tech's college radio station, wire.wit.edu. Would love to have you on and talk about the all-female all college next door. Uh, if you want to risk it, sure. I, I don't want to get you in trouble. I don't know what your college would think of having an asshole on your college radio show, but yeah, uh, hit me up on YouTube messages and I'll, I'll pop on and chat with you. Uh, Vicious Candid for, er, can, God damn it, Vicious for 20. Do you think Cal was right about failure being a mastermind and pulling people into artificial drama? Uh, no, I don't think he was some, you know, puppet master behind the scenes, but he does pop up into a lot of shit and he does like stirring shit, but I don't think he's a mastermind. Not, no, not at all. Bex Fire for five. Oh, what do you think of Murdoch Murdoch's cartoons? Love watching them. I think they're funny as hell. Foster for two ninety nine. Take my shekels. Wendy for uh, NOK100. I have no idea what that is. We're going to go with North Korean. Wendy from North Korea for 100 North Korean dollars. Bring it all down. Space Shank for 10 Happy to waste my money on Jim. Skeleton for $20. I notice people here love wholesome Emily Yukis. I wonder how many of them know that she what she gets up to. Can't leave links, so check out her new grounds. Search Emily Yukis and the Alfred, uh, okay, let me say this right. Alfred Alfer at Midwest Fur, <laughs> Fur Fest 2015 on YouTube? That's A-L-F-R-E-D-A-L-F-E-R at Midwest Fur Fest 2015. I had no, I don't know much about Emily Yukis, but uh, <laughs> is there... Is some is there some furry stuff going on? A skeleton maybe has something there. I don't know. Check it out if you're interested. Uh, Eric Falkenhain for a ten. Uh, is this new Hide Wars? Old Snake for five. Chainlink one thousand. Uh, e O Y. Ange Valdez for five. Viva La Rasa. Uh, no. Dick Fingers for ten. Ross Suicide Stream when? When will he do it in a bathtub? Toaster or shotgun? Or, I'm sorry, will he do it in a bathtub, toaster, or shotgun? Uh, Ross is so disconnected from reality, I have no idea what the fuck that guy's going to do. Uh, he is, you know, narcissistic enough that if he was going to off himself, he would probably live stream it, or there'd be a live leak video of it. So we're just going to have to hold our breath and wait and wonder. Chairman of Chairman for five, fair enough. Hijack for 713, incoming transmission. And there is a Vokaroo link, vokaroo.com backslash I, backslash, lowercase s, 1, capital A, 6, I, capital O, A, 4, capital C, U, I, 1. It's the best I can do. I can't really put the link up. Striker Quiet for 2. He's an engine, Jim. It's in their blood. Judicious Echoes for 5. Just manage the kum, uh, what is it? Just manage the kumite. Kumite. God damn. Just manage the kumite behind the scenes and tell them oh, what to do to entertain us. Everyone wins. Burger Lord for five. Spurgs that even the Fagus GG people hate like Ralph and King of Pool tried to hop on the wagon and fuck up. Pinky Culture for five. Jim, you are one of the best YouTubers of all time. Not at all. Not even fucking close to it. Just the guy that likes to do videos about shit that makes him laugh. People out there that are way better. My audio quality is shit. My video editing is terrible. But I appreciate the five bucks. HDRTU for 100 rubles. IBS is a nice source of background noise uh, entertainment. Viking Viking for two. Irritable bowel syndrome. IBS. TTOMZ for 10. In 2018, or is 2018 the true year of Kino? Yes, it is. 2018 has been a fucking hell of a ride. Every month has been packed full of entertaining shit. Yeah, the Sargon and Spencer thing, you had the Kraut Saga, you've got Kanye West, you've got King of Pole Audio. It's been highly entertaining for me. Very entertaining for me. John for 20, besides the new videos you're working on, what else are you doing in your free time to relax? 
I mostly read and play video games. That, that's what I do. I'm a very laid-back, average, ordinary person. I don't really do any wild shit, to be honest with you. Take a look. Uh, oh, chat, live chat's uh, announcing to me that Boogie is dead. Apparently he dies every fucking day. Uh, I, I don't know how he resurrects himself, but maybe there maybe there's some black magic involved. Maybe that's how he's getting skinny. Every time Boogie dies at night, he has to give up five pounds of lard to resurrect. And that's that's how he's been losing the weight. He's just continually dying every fucking night. All right. Uh, Identity America uh, for five. Andy is an SJW. Just watch. Jeff Holiday and Destiny will be back on a show in a week. It's a prediction people are putting out there that Andy is now going to go back into the arms of the people that uh, he disliked at the beginning of IBS and do a 180. I, I don't I don't personally see it happening, but you never know. And Identity America, he's throwing that out there as a guess. Pragmatic Culture for five. Uh, funds for the Sweetie Squad. Uh, okay, uh, Coop for 20. Are you burning this account after today, or will there be a future Metalcast to take our money? Uh, no. I, to be honest with you, I don't actually like streaming that much. I enjoy watching them, occasionally going on as guests, but I don't like hosting them and doing them myself. Uh, I've never even used fucking Super Chat until now. Uh, one of the reasons that I fucking turned it on was to try to illustrate to, you know, <laughs> Andy and JF and you know, it, just all the people involved in fucking Blood Sports that it's a real simple job. That you just have to sit there and be a little entertaining for a couple hours and you can make money doing it. That that was the, entirely the point. Uh, but no, I wouldn't expect a lot of Meadowcasts. I, I don't foresee a lot of them. Uh, global Expulsion for 10 $10 for you, man. You deserve it. And while we're at it, I would like to suggest uh, to Trump... You would like to suggest to Trump... Oh, we should drop a Moab on UK, pull a Syria on them, turn them into ashes. Then rebuild Rome where they once stood. Uh, yeah, you know uh, why not? Bongland could use a could use a little bit of reorganization over there. Uh, Jessica used this for two. Are we about to listen to a recorded murder live? Uh, no, no. Uh, this must have been right prior to the audio being played. Well, you know what? I guess yeah. You could say it was a murder that took place today, or the murdering of an old identity, and the emergence of a new brave pansexual liberal just beautiful it's like a it's like <laughs> it's, it's a metamorphosis vg spook for two uh king of pole uh pfft, king of pole vawbc carry oh my god you sure keep youtube interesting jim lol for five 20 to, uh 20 pounds from hatch zero oof boz for 10 perfect start to the morning at my office well i'm glad you enjoyed it hopefully that audio that we played in the middle was something that you you found entertaining Blort Torgal the Great for 10 pounds. I believe that's 10 pounds. King of Paws. Christopher Oritz, shut up and take my money, Jim, for two. Zachary Rome for $10. The gays get the gulag. Train wrecker titty blister. <laughs> okay, I like that one. Train wreck titty blister for five. Please keep doing the Meadowcast regularly. Crucial Bunny for two. Naked Ape and Keo or King of Pole sex tape when? Chad, I'm going to have to ask you that. Do you think that somewhere out there there's a King of Pole Naked Ape audio sex tape? I mean, he was sexting him. You think there's like a recorded session of those two breathing heavy? Talking about, uh, <laughs> talking, I don't even know what they'd be talking about. I, I don't even know if I want to imagine that. Maybe that's what attracted him to Naked Ape. Maybe he thought the naked part of Naked Ape meant hairless. You know, like no hair, naked. And he likes those femboys. Maybe that's what the draw was on that one. Uh, HTRTU for 100 rubles. King of Pole, spelled P-O-L-E. Uh, Chaim Moshi Hibowitz again for four ninety nine. Jim, I'm so happy that you're roasting these faggots. They're no different from any of the other cancer that has killed GG, and now our IBS. Fuck them all. Fuck you, Google, for 10. Will Jim delete the channel live on stream? Leaving everyone blue-balled for the Wings video, place your bets. Fijal Naraj for two pounds. Nearly 13,000 watching lads. Fractal Soraya for 10. He's a phantom. Commander 800, Gaybar Gaybar for $5. HTRTU for 666 rubles. Jim, Wings of Redemption video when? Again, it should be up uh, pretty soon. 
Andy M for five. Oh my god. Uh, okay, my first Medicare Live and so worth it. <laughs> god damn it. I'm fucking this up and it's shameful. Oh my god, okay, my first Medicare Live and so worth it. Here's some money for the laughs. XD. Spec Gertle for five Canadian. A drunk mind speaks a sober heart. Truer words have never been spoken. CZ for five pounds. So that's where the three Sargon clones escape two to the gay bar. Floor to the great again for five pounds. How can you claim to be the king of pole and be a bender at the same time? <laughs> that's a fair question. Uh, maybe he's the king that sits on high of the pole. You know, it's like his throne. You know, the pole goes inside of him. Maybe it's a different kind of pole. Maybe the guy earlier was right. And it's P-O-L-E. Chuckle77 for five. Thanks for keeping me entertained. Ninja Work 111 for two. Viva La Paza. I lie, I cheat, I gay. Fire X for five dollars. Jim, who are these retards? Well, the audio was between King of Pole, uh, otherwise known as Exceptional Detective, and uh, a mystery, a mystery man, a non, uh, apparently, a, apparently a very hairy midget named Danny from the audio that we heard. Doesn't shave his shoulders, he's a little bit short, but he's got a dick that Pole is very interested in. From a logical operator for 888. I love you, Jim. That Indian dude for $5. Why do gay men gossip like Millennial Valley girls? I have no idea. But that was the thirstiest motherfucker I've ever heard. I don't even think that's a gay thing. I think Pole is the thirstiest fucking person I've ever heard. It was 26 minutes of him begging for dick pictures from a guy that doesn't want to give him dick pictures. And when that didn't work, he tried to get the other guy he was complaining to to show him his cock. I don't know what the fuck is going on with that. Fractal Soraya for five. It's okay if it ain't, uh, it's okay if it ain't gay. Okay. Disky Fringo for ten. Jim, you were wrong about this. Sucking dick ain't gay. Unless you look at the, <laughs> unless you look that nigga in the eyes. Sage advice. FJ uh, Cthulhu for twenty. Thanks, Jim. All the other streams are shit. We need a relief. Chuckle77 again for two. Just say no homo and you're good to take it. Daniel Casimir for 20. King of Paws is super gay. He is a very, uh, he's a very liberated boy. Connor Potoff for two. So you're telling me this Nick Apole is gay. I think that was pretty evident. He tried to pass it off as pansexuality, but there were a few Freudian slips there where he said, uh, gay. Wasn't bisexual, wasn't pansexual, just straight up gay. Ashland Orser for two. Hey, Medicare, first time on your stream. Uh, hope you, hope you enjoyed it. Synth and the Lizard Watch for two ninety nine. Beware the gay reptilian CIA nibbers. Right wing BDSM guy, two dollars. We're internet friends now, Medicare. I'd be careful, right wing BDSM guy. Uh, not saying that you're gay, but the BDSM part might get uh, Queen of Pole interested. So just uh, watch your ass. Mame enthusiast for two dollars. King of Paws thinks with his head, not his head. Logical conclusion of tolerance, two dollars. Why are the Nazis gay? Why? Random person, $5, king of pole smokers. $2 from arch enemy, end yourselves. Tim uh, Radis for a dollar, there's no message attached on that one. Brown Blue for $2, king of paws, my digs. I'm wondering if he meant my dick. Because he, apparently he's got a big one. He likes to talk about that. Uh, Sinatra says for four ninety nine, laugh my fucking ass off. The Ranged Martial Artist for $2. Alt-Right Armory Won't Cuck for L.A. Thoughts. Karnak for $10. What a faggot. Daniel Casimir for 20 More Super Chats for Jim Incentives. Zachary Rome for... Er, <laughs> Zachary Rome for 20 T. Medicare should take over IBS. Two gays getting the gulag. This is only at... Uh, this is only a test for $5. A tiny amount for the hours of entertainment you've given me. Bob Saget for $1.99. Timothy... <laughs> Timothy McVeigh did nothing wrong. T Timothy was an innocent boy. Seal for five. If he lied and claimed to have Danny's dick pic, he couldn't have gotten King of Paws's pic. Well, I'm uploading the audio after this. Godspeed, good sir. Kiwi Farms for two. Squeal like a pig boy. Mike Hunt for nine ninety nine can uh, gets all wet for the lulls. Some well deserved shekels. Just another videoless channel for ten. Check out King of Pole's Twitter. He's having a meltdown. Well, I, 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 maybe I should have read more. We'll, we'll pull it up later on. I'm almost through the, 
majority portion of the Super Chats, we'll look at some more interesting shit. I don't mean to, to focus too much on this, but I want to get to them. Ants in the eyes, Johnson for two. Oh, God, or, oh dear God, I might know who Danny is. Well, don't ask him for a dick pic. I don't think he wants to share it. Hey, man, nice shot for five. King of Paws. Danny uh, may be hairy, but he's got a great personality. HTRTU for 100 rubles. People at Kiwi Farms are laughing, or laughing their asses off right now. Hopefully they enjoyed the show. Noel's gone into witness protection because King of Paul is going to want to fuck him after the treatment that he's received. Uh, I lost my place here. Uh, okay. Down forward punch for 10. King of Pool is a faggot? Lol, this is the best dream ever. <laughs> King of Pool, neck yourself, faggot. Rational Ryan for 5. King of Pool now claims on Twitter that he hooked you up with your in-real-life girlfriend. Your thoughts? No, he doesn't live where I live. I'm not, I'm not sure how he would have hooked us up, but whatever. Uh, the Dread Snort for 4.99. Naked Gape. Jake or K... Oh, fuck. Did my audio just shoot out on me? Uh, nope. Okay. Jake or K017 for $2 Canadian. King of Pole suicide stream when? Yoshi K for $2. We don't deserve the entertainment you provide. Thomas Jefferson uh, for $2. Medicare Scorched Earth policy against the webs. Warhawk 0901 for 50. 50 shekels for the top-notch recording of grade A retardation. Thanks for the laughs, Jim. All right. I'm going to pull up regular chat again. Talk to live chat for a little bit here. We'll get back to the super chats in just a second. There we go. I know all the other streaming people have all these fancy fucking setups where they've got, you know, little bells and whistles shooting off every five seconds and the, now that's fucking based audio clip shooting off and GIFs popping up left and right and shit scrolling across the screen. But I'm just, I'm an old fuck who can't get the, the mindset of all this new hip technology. So mine's very bare bone or er, <laughs> bare bones. Ugh, have a bit of an aversion to mention bones after we heard that because Paul might mistake that for me saying something else bone related and want to run over here and try to tie me up and make me a femboy, which I'm not looking forward to. Uh, somebody in chat said, Jim, you should play Honey Pop. Uh, no, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna play any more Honey Pop. If you enjoyed that before, I'm glad you did. It's a fun game. Uh, but I'm fucking awful at it. Uh, I see a couple people bringing up, uh, to bringing up, asking me to read King of Bulls' uh, Twitter account. I will do that again in a little bit. Uh, not a problem. Uh, invite your son on stream? I don't have a fucking son. <laughs> I'm not inviting anybody on stream. It's old-fashioned Meadowcast. Just sit back, listen to some shit talk, read through the chat a little bit, go over some funny shit, and call it a day. Uh, yeah, I don't know what you guys like better. I see this. I, I see two fucking things keep popping up. Uh, King of Paws and Queen of Pole. Chat, you, you tell me what you like better, I guess. Uh, number one for Queen of... <laughs> okay, uh, number one for Queen of Paws... <laughs> Jesus Christ. Number one for Queen of Pole. Number two for King of Paws. Number one, Queen of Pole. Number two, King of Paws. I think they're both equally entertaining. You you tell me what you like the best. People uh, bringing up the Guac Bowl. I don't I don't think Jeb's done anything interesting. Uh, eh, fucking forever. So I don't know. I don't know how well that would go. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry, chat. Uh, Locos, this is boring. I'm sorry it's boring you. Rewind the stream, listen to the audio, have a laugh. Uh, somebody wants me to finger Jade again on live stream. Uh, I'm not opposed to fingering her. I, I don't know if I'll do it on live stream again. I mean, last time it was 5,000 people watching. This time it's 12,000. That's a lot of pressure to put on a guy. Uh, numbers look pretty evenly split, to be honest. See, it's a hard choice, isn't it? Both are so goddamn good. What do you go with? Maybe you could combine them to Queen of Paws or something. I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm not sure which one to go with. Yes, people seem to be very fond of the uh, pause aspect of this fucking name. 
Not that I blame them. It's it's entertaining. All right, let's uh let's pop back over, power through the rest of these, pound through these super chats as Andy likes to say so much. Uh, where did I leave off here? Okay, Matthew Joseph, uh, Matthew Joseph for five. I miss Adolf. Sock account for five. Goddamn king of pole smells penises. <laughs> uh, sock account for five. Goddamn king of pole smells penises, and he starts foaming at the mouth. Uh, a fairly accurate, <laughs> accurate assessment. Hatch zero for five pounds. Just had two trad alt right dudes talk about schlongs and butt stuff. The dread snort for nine ninety nine. Why do people take pictures of their pee pee? Can they not remember what it looks like when they wake up in the morning? I'm not sure why all these people are so, uh, yeah, interested in taking dick pics and then thinking nothing's ever going to happen when they do it, but apparently they do. Uh, Loki Hades for 500 PHP. <laughs> I'm not sure what that currency is, but thank you. Uh, take my shekels. Sean Turner for $5. Jim, you, uh, you are a whore. Take my shekels. Mr. DJ Fly High for five. Uh, can we see you doing Nostalgia Critic post-mortem video? Uh, no, I don't have an interest in doing that. I think the... Um, Fre is it Frederick Knutson? Is that the name of his channel? The guy that does Down the Rabbit Hole. Did two streams on it. I think he did a really good job with his streams. A lot of people watched it, liked it. He read over the shit. And I think... I know he has said that he's not going to immediately do a video on it, but I think he will eventually do a video on it. Just covering all the shit. So I'd recommend waiting for that. Connor Pothoff for $2. This is so gay. You are correct. Mike the Mugger for 5 Is it really paranoia if someone is after you? Sock account again for 5 You think King of Pole was a dude talking about getting off on bubble butt funk in the positivity video? That is a that is a conspiracy theory that I think we need to track down. We might be on to something there. Gizmo, uh, Gizmo Hibiki for 2 the bathtub pedo is after a guy named Silent Rob. I, I'm not sure why Ross would be after Silent Rob, but I'll have to look into that one. That, that's weird. Queen of Bants for $2. The thirst is real. I agree. That Indian dude for 5 What is up with the alt-right and the number of fruits in the ranks? <laughs> uh, well, I, you know, I think, uh, I think our liberated, liberal, pansexual, femboy-loving, boy-pussy-eating... Uh, I don't know how to end that. I, I just think Queen of Positivity is now a new individual and probably not in the alt-right anymore. Howitzer Bob Ross for nine ninety nine. Seeing as he's the king, does that mean this is the new standard for poll? Cameron Mead for five. I'm revoking this dude's gay card. I don't blame you, Cameron. He is the thirstiest fucker I've ever heard. And if I were a gay dude, he would have... <laughs> it would be embarrassing to hear another fucking idiot talk like this. Chunk, or Chuck Finks for 25 I like the way you talk. Yeah, it does kind of... It reminds me of the, the uh, you got a purdy mouth, doesn't it? Like, can you, can you hear the fucking banjos in the background? You know, as you're running through the woods? That's kind of, that's kind of the vibe you get a little bit. Uh, Dan Ciorti for two. Talk to me like I'm one of your online girls. Breakdance Express for five. I knew that was King of Pole from the effing keyboard. Uh, it's a very distinct fucking annoying sound. You were correct. Oh, so you're for 10. You always find the best deviants and spurgs for the freak show, Jim. Glad you enjoyed it. Zach Lonby for 20. I'm not really gay. Let me suck that dick. It's, it's always a good start. It's always a good start to the fucking, uh... <laughs> yeah, it's, how do you rationalize that? Like, yeah, no, dude, I'm not gay or nothing, but I really want to... I just want to cradle your balls. I just want you to rub your cock across my face a little bit, like to, totally straight people do. Uh, there's a message deleted here for $5. I, I'm not sure what that said. Kane for five pounds. Sargon, 5,000. Medicare, 14,000. And he calls himself a leader. Nicholas Christensen for $2. King, or hashtag, King of Pole with a spelling of P-O-L-E. Grayscale plaid for 10. There's a lot of bottoms who really get off on being manhandled. Kiwi Farms for 20. I actually feel gross now. Tony Cannoli for two ninety nine start snipe or start shipping Queen of Pole, and contrapoints boys. Now that would be that would be an interesting couple. Toad McKinley for two. Grant McClellan is a fucking monster. I'm not sure why Invisible Crane was so gung ho about doing this. He seems to have a grudge against Queen of Positivity. 
But he, he wanted me to play it. He dared me to, and I couldn't back down. I had to go forward with it. Mike Snazzy for $10. Hi, Brian. Winky face. Uh, the detox for 5 There's no message attached. HTRTU uh, for 400 rubles. Jim, that Wings of Redemption video when? People don't need to know about the time when his asshole got clogged up by a giant turd and he had to ask his grandma for help. Uh, that is true. You know what? I'll, I'll give you a preview, chat, if, if you're curious about this. Wings of Redemption is a streamer, a Twitch streamer. Used to be big in Call of Duty. And he had a, he had a bit of an accident. He took a big boy poop, but the big boy poop did a 180 in his asshole. And he couldn't squeeze it out. It was too big to come out. So here's this big fat motherfucker. 400, 500 fucking pounds at lard. Stuck on a toilet with his ass clogged with shit. And, you know, a normal human being in this situation probably would have been like, oh, I gotta get some laxatives. Or, you know, I've just gotta, I gotta force it out. I've gotta really concentrate. Wings, on the other hand, decided he needed grandma's help. Whistled up, uh, whistled down. Whistled over, I guess, in the double wide they live in. Because there is no up or down in a fucking trailer. Whistled over to grandma and said, Hey, grandma, I got a big old turd stuck in my ass. Would you mind sticking your fingers in there and uh, loosen her up for me a bit? So good old grandma, nice old lady, loves her baby boy, big old baby boy, uh, scissors the shit out of his ass with her fingers. <laughs> you can look forward to that in the video that's coming up. Hope you enjoy that. Gonna have some fun with that. Mike the Mugger for $2. Brittany Vente, OMG. Jing's ND Things for 20 Subscribe to Jing's J-I-N-G-S ND Things. N-D-T-H-I-N-G-S. Pinky Culture for $2. No such thing as pansexual. There are two genders. Yeah, that pansexuality thing, just, just be upfront. You're either straight, you're gay, or you're bi. Real simple. Real fucking simple. One of those three things will cover it for you. Trent Acne for four ninety nine. Hey Jimbo, what Deviant Art episode did you end up beating off to in your research? My guess is the Sonic or the Giantess episode. Actually, the Giantess episode is the only one that actually made me physically sick. Reading about those, uh, I don't even want to get into it. I'll puke if I fucking talk about it. Yeah, that was the worst. Hatch zero for ten pounds. Boy pussy. Colt revolver for two. Are traps gay? If you're, if you're engaged in sexual activity with somebody that has a penis, and you have a penis, yes. The logical operator for $2, what a fag. 10 pounds from JMAA, TV forbidden. I upped, uh, I upped on a throwaway the whole debate King of Pole had with Britbong asked me for it. Gabriel for $5 Canadian, why so serious, Jim Lull? Kyler for $5, this is the gayest thing since gay came to gay town. Much love, keep up the good work, stay gay. From number one, uh, Mediker, president of the fan club. I like to fag things up. I hope you've been happy. Cult of the Lich for PHP 250. No one tell Danny or Ping or King of Power. No one tell Danny, or Paul will get upset. Yeah, we have to keep this a secret. Char or Charles Styles for two dollars. He's dead, Jim. And Dan Corey or Dan Cordy for two dollars Canadian. King of Negholes which is another appropriate choice. Okay. That brings me almost to current with the Super Chats. Getting close. I'm going to throw up chat back up on the main window, banter back and forth a little bit, finish up with the remaining Super Chats, and call it a night. Call it a night. Oh, and we'll take a look at King of Pool's Twitter account, because I did say we would do that. So let me pull that up, and we'll see what we can find. Uh, give me one second here. Uh, there's nothing new on there. But I'm going to say, for a dude that now supposedly hates me, as he stated, he is still following me on Twitter. Uh, let me just state that I am not a hairless femboy that you can tie up in your basement. And I have no dick pics to send you, so you probably can stop following now. Just uh, throwing that out there. Okay, let me refresh this and maybe that'll maybe that'll make them pop up.
Oh, okay. Hit the mute button at the wrong time. Fucking brilliant. I'm just uh, trying to scroll to find where the fuck I need to be here. Oh, this is this is a pain in the ass. Okay, there we are. King and egg holes. All right, I found it. Okay, Ozzy Mandias for two dollars. Good day, Jim. Is the shit how or is the shithead Ross in jail yet? I don't believe he is. I don't think he's been arrested. Alex Bernard for five dollars. The King of Thirst, an appropriate title. Tom Bahat for five dollars. I can't believe Grant would embarrass me like this. Do I get a cut of the super chat? You're gonna have to take that up with the big boss of the internet, Invisible Crane. Eternal Nemesis for two dollars. Nico Nico Ni. Nee. Pop TV for four ninety nine. JF molested me behind an Arby's in nineteen ninety, but stopped when he realized I wasn't the special. I wasn't the right kind of retarded. We all weep for you. CS for two. Does this mean Naked Ape is a sub? It's a very good question. Osir for twenty. Keep up the great work, Jim. Sean Turner for 10. Jim, you are a whore. Take my shekels. And I think you look like Daniel Tosh when you, when he was losing his hair. Thank you very much. Alex Bernard for another two. King of... Oh, did I already read that? Shit, is that repeating? Uh, Alex Bernard for another two. King of Thirst. There you go. Hentai Soldier for $1.99. You stupid Re uh, Reagan. Where is the vid you promised? Uh, yeah, the vid is coming. CZ for five pounds. So that's where the three Sargon clothes went to. The gay bar. That is correct. Jay Isil for $1.99. Get King of Pole on. He's probably shitting himself right now. I don't think he's probably open to that. SMWD15. What is a reaction to YouTube getting rid of fair use? $5. Uh, it's my understanding they haven't gotten rid of fair use, but they have implemented the tool set that the MCNs have. So uh, from what I understand, again, I'm not completely up on it. Uh, MCNs basically have the same kind of tool set, but a more advanced version of it. You're talking about the revenue sharing, so if you use a certain amount of uh, audio or video from somebody else's video that's already up on YouTube, they can flag it and then take a percent of your ad revenue if you have, you know, adverts rolling over it. Uh, I, I Somebody had told me they implemented this once before that users had this ability and it went to shit because everybody went after each other. It's going to be a lot of fucking trolling. People are just going to start claiming shit. Um, lots of people are going to get angry. Uh, clip channels are going to get fucked. Gaming channels and movie channels are going to get fucked. Uh, music remix channels are going to get fucked. Uh, a lot of channels are going to take a big hit you know, if they were using that as like their vehicle to make money. Uh, but I don't, I don't know. It, there may be a small positive to it if you're just somebody that likes to shit post videos. Maybe the people that would usually take them down will now let them stay up because they're going to get a share of it. So that might be an upside to it. I, I don't know. Uh, chairman of Chairman, again, for $5. When is the Street Fighter V match versus you and Queen of Paws? I, I don't think that's going to happen. Troy Fowler for $5. Holy shit, it's a gym stream. How much did I miss? Well, Troy, I would suggest going back about 30, 40 minutes if you really want to see some good shit. JMAA, TV Forbidden for £5. I upped a whole debate between King of Pole and Britbong. Ask me for it if so. I'm seeing, like, repeats. Shit, am I reading the same fucking thing over again? Uh, the Guardian for $5. Well, I'm not very surprised by all of this. It was cringe as fuck, but I'm not surprised. SimG for a dollar with no message attached. Mola Viking for 50 Norwegian. Shalom Shalom at Tomba Hat. I think you should pay reparations to Brian. A Lamau for 220 Pause my little neg hole, Daddy Jim. Ariana Sharmer for 5 Jesus Christ, Jim, you know how to bring in an audience. I can appreciate your brutal honesty, lol. Queen of Paws needs some encouragement, though. Christ. Colt Revolver for five Canadian. What an interesting piece of entertainment you found, Jim. Well, I'm happy to. I'm glad I could help. Dunder Control for two. We need to put people like Queen of Bowl in cams. Xylon for five. Devin Tracy is my daddy. Panda Pie for two. First time watching. Hoping for a good shit show. Sim G for a dollar. Again, there's no message attached. Jeff Smith for 20. If Andy Stream for, uh, if Andy Stream fails, you will need to adopt him. You created him. It's only fair. Adopt Chris too. Uh, no. No. <laughs> EC762 for $2. Worski is a kike. Uh, hail JF and them Jews. Eric Moe for $5. Do you think Queen of Paws was furiously typing got dick pics over and over to other negs? I, I would imagine, yes, that's what was happening. 
that Indian dude for five dollars? Well, your girlfriend is the only chink in your internet armor. Well done. Well done. Kyler for two. Teamwork makes the cream squirt. Jimmy the Autist for five dollars. Just take these five dollars, Jim. Keep it up. Lord's work. King of Bowl can't be a real man, so he needs some real men inside him instead to really fill that hole. Hentai Soldier for two dollars. Fucking Reggie, or fucking Reagan. Uh, Queen of Paws posted your docs on Kiwi right now. I'll have to live with the shame. Anderson Paladin for two dollars. Hitler died for rough hairless subs and thick penis. Super Kitty Pogo Dance for five. You should start a show with Monday Matt. It would basically be blood sports, except it would be just people coming in to yell at Matt. That has potential. War Dog Leader for two pounds. The Dead Nation thanks you for this Medicare. Azure Fox Girl for two dollars. Just got here. What did I miss? Antibodies for a dollar. No message attached. Opinion discarded for six sixty six. How do I make a Twitter account that doesn't get showed within the first few hours? Uh, from what I understand with their algorithm, you're going to need to follow people that put up banal, boring shit, not tweet at anybody that says anything racy, uh, and not tweet anything, you know, edgy for like weeks. You've, you've got to go incognito for weeks to make a good boy account to be left the fuck alone. Uh, Godhammer for $2. Why are internet people so stupid? Fucking question of a lifetime right there. Moto Maryland for five. Snakes have low energy early in the day. That would explain the morning kumite. Young Chinos for $2. Look at Queen of Poles Twitter. He's meltdown. DFC for two Canadian. Can we nuke Seattle? The night that's blue, 199. What the fuck is a sub? Well, let me explain some terminology to you. Uh, a sub would be the bottom bitch. A sub would be the dude that's on his knees, sucking the cock. He'd be the dude bent over the couch, oofing, as King of Pole slams his hog meat deep inside his asshole. That's what the sub would be. But if you're wanting to suck dick, that would kind of imply that you're a sub too. And he wants Danny to be rough with him. So I, you, you figure it out. I don't know, he's not even using the terminology right. Tiny telephones for $5.00. Send dick pic, Jim. Promise I won't rub my bean. I'm not a degenerate or anything. I don't do that. Largo Tomain 7 for MX20. Are you going to talk about Schmorky one day? Yes, I am. Connor Pothoff for $2. Can you say gay nigger for me? Gay nigger. CS for $5. Did Baked Alaska die? Everyone just stopped talking about him all of a sudden, or maybe I missed something. Uh, I-L-Y, by the way. Max 15 for 5 pounds. I like your attitude, Jim. Lodi McGee for $5. Bad taste in music in the background. Rather, uh, it have been by Goodbye Horses? That would have been an appropriate choice. I, I agree with you. Now, I can't tell you, uh, chat, uh, what I, I see a lot of these super chats coming through saying that King of Pole is having a meltdown on Twitter. I looked a few times. I'm not seeing any more recent tweets, but maybe he is. So if you want a good uh, shit show, apparently he's having a meltdown. Slazors for five. Uh, considering the 70-page document on that guy with the glasses, why didn't you give us a small continuation of that guy with the glasses series? I said pretty much everything I needed to. Uh, I think it's com as complete as it's going to be. Uh, there is a lot of new shit, don't get me wrong, but I think uh, other people can do a better job. So wait for the down the rabbit hole, would again be my suggestion. Jeremy Joestar for ten. Shill Badgers, Ross the Trilogy, Zoom Baked, Bully Hunters, and now Exceptional Detective. Is this the most entertainment you've ever witnessed? Also, does he get hard for Ross making death threats at him? That's a fairly a fairly on-point question. I don't know. If he likes being bullied, maybe Ross talking shit really really lightens up the day for him. Spaghetti <laughs> spaghetti and his meatballs for $2. Is Sticks actually a trap? Would you be his daddy? I do not believe that Sticks is a trap. <laughs> no. And no, I would not be his fucking father. Good old Shlomo for two. Uh, who will have Art of King of Pole and prince of queens first fuck if i know no idea evil panda for, god shit evil panda 15 for five dollars did you watch ralph's stream of bake shit show last night thoughts uh no but somebody was talking about it saying that it was a, a fucking train wreck so i haven't had a chance to watch it no white for two pounds jim did hitler do nothing wrong hitler is a good boy hitler didn't do nothing just wanted to wanted some money for his programs Edmund Ploppy for $5. Worski's mother squeezed too hard when she gave birth to him. And now he has a soft head. He eats food from a bowl on the floor. <laughs> he, eats, he, eats, he, eats, he eats food from a bowl on the floor. Andy Dribblechin. 
Gothicola for five dollars. How much for your dick pics, Jim? Not putting dick pics out there, just a dumb thing to do on the internet. Conran Black for two pounds. Please finally tell Scrub to get a Cobain haircut. Orgus Din for two dollars. King of Pole. Mame Enthusiast for two dollars. Can you send a black super? Can you send a blank super chat? If you choose to, I, I suppose you could. I'm, I'm not sure. Lady Lulz for $5. What a special fucking unicorn King of Pole is. He's going to need some tissues for those issues. Bartomew 5 for Canadian 10. Jim, spending 10 maple syrup dollars to tell you you're the best. Well, I hope you enjoy the show. Shiv Palpatoon for 5. Here's some shickles so you can talk about the JQ. The Jewish question. And I don't know. I know that if you talk about the JQ too openly, the hammer comes down on your head. And I don't think my fellow rabbis at the synagogue would like it. I've got a job. I've got a job to protect. I've got to bring all these shekels over to them. Max France for two pounds. I'm a monument to all of your sins. HH for two dollars. We live in a society. S per zero for two ninety nine. Have a nice day. Thank you. Daniel uh, Manfrego for five pounds. Jim, could you please say blacked cuck aska an echo? I don't have an echo special sound effect for you. But I'll say it for you, and then you can clip it out and try to put an echo on it if you want. Let me take a sip here so my voice isn't all fucked up, and I'll, I'll give you a go here. Blacked Cuck Aska. Blacked Cuck Aska. There you go. Kappa for $5. Jim, watch out. If you're too rough, Brian will want your pee-pee. Eternal Nemesis for 2. Nico Nico Ni. R. Jeffrey 14 for 2. Nicholas Cruz is going to have nothing on Queen of Pole. I bark at my dogs for 19.99. Saudi Arabia, in parentheses. Phil Phil for two dollars. Reclaim America. Join us at bloodandsoil.org. Troy Fowler for five dollars. Please keep this up for me, Daddy. Windows 10 is all right. It runs pretty well for me, at least. Fucking hate Windows 10. It's just awful. Zemeckis Lebowski for two dollars. Jim, please say, please end yourself, furry queers. Please end yourselves, furry queers. Eight Jidge Jew. For five pounds, how will Pole ever recover? Gillian Seed for two dollars. Will you do a video on incels? Ah, uh, no, but I've got the MRA videos coming out, so that'll be fun. Chris Two Hikari, four ninety nine. How many public executions and humiliations will we witness the next time the Meadowcast returns? It's a good question. I couldn't tell you. Anarcho Monarchist for two dollars. Will we ever see Tumblerisms? I forget. Ah, uh, no, it's done. Uh, there's not going to be another one. It's finished up. Doku HLSD, $5. Trolling the internet on my HP, scrolling through chance, looking for peen. Uh, Hugh, zero for $2. Queen of Pole or King of Paws? Eternal Nemesis again for $2. Nico Nico Ni. Spooky Weeb Trash for four ninety nine. I have a conspiracy theory that the alt-right and pole are full of white gay men who are searching for other white gay men. Do you think it's possible? Well, I, could, I think we can definitely say that uh, Queen of Paws is most definitely looking for some white gay men. I don't think that's a conspiracy theory. I think that's been confirmed today. Uh, Exclusi Attack for two ninety nine. I love you, Jim. Don't you fucking dare leave me. Uh, BK. Hooded Angel for $2. Puss instead of games, not even once. What can I say? The man likes his fucking Dark Souls. I can respect that. Maybe not Monster Hunter, but the Dark Souls, maybe. Maybe I can respect that. Uh, GBZ for two. Uh, they don't think it'd be like it is, but it do. DVLX for two pounds. If you read this, you're gay. Lol, got him. Fucking nailed it. Antibodies for two with no message attached. Dollar ninety nine from Politically Incorrect. Super Chat won't let me call you a white spook. I think you've defeated it. I am a white spook. Stalking after midnight for two dollars. Danny Boy, the Queen of Pipes, is calling. Awaken Saxon for two. Debate me on the JQ. Garrett Jeffries for ten dollars. How is the situation with Money Badgers and Karen Strawn so far? I've been so busy with other shit, I haven't even paid attention to them, to be honest. When I don't have more entertaining shit, I'll go to the third tier e-celebs uh, and deal with fucking Puppet Master and Karen. They can, they can wait in fucking line. Trigger Autist for $5. Yummy in my tummy. King of Paws 2018. El Changeo for 5 Here's another 5 Jim. This is an entertaining stream. Flortology for five. Jim, I'm glad you could help. Now do a video on Gregory uh, Malchik and his crusade to save our foreskins. <laughs> uh, Blue Satoshi for two. L or LTBS window or LTBS 10 without bloatware, telemetry, and forced updates. 
Ganjanaraku666 for five. You've been blue balling us for weeks, Jim. When's the Couch Cuck shooter video coming? Uh, it should be, it, you know what, I'll, I'll make a promise. It will be after Wings. That'll be the next video I do. HRTRU for rubles 100. Influencer in uh, <laughs> parentheses. UFA T. Cow for five. Jim, what do you think about the comedian at the congressional dinner last night? I didn't even see it. Uh, I'll have to check it out. I'm sure it's fucking awful. Jessica Eustace for 10. We'll never get an IBS ranked tournament where Guy Re about who's best waifu, will we? Real talk. Found you streaming uh, Oh, found you streaming the Baltimore riot. Thanks for saving my ass when lulls and the hard truth, sweetie. Uh, yeah, the riot streams were fun. Uh, you know, it, it, I'll do another Meadowcast if there's like a big-ass fucking riot, because those are always entertaining. Or like that really cringy shit with Justice for Jamar, where they go outside the St. Paul or Minneapolis Police Department and are throwing fucking bottles and breaking shit and setting up tents and talking about how they agree with ISIS uh, for a dude that, you know, they said that it was executed and it turns out he wasn't. It was fucking ridiculous. Marauder Shields for $5. Baked Alaska dies at the end of Infinity Wars. Is a spoiler. I probably should have spoilered that. Kooky Shaman for $5. Jim, who would win in a fight, Jeff or Andy Worski? Oops, I meant an astronaut or a caveman. Re-10 for two. Do you like the new God of War? Haven't played it. I saw some video clips of it. Uh, it looks nice. But it also reminds me, you know how certain games have like a random dungeon generator? Uh, I think uh, Mass Effect did it when it came to like indoor uh, like mini dungeons with bases and shit. Uh, you probably saw it a lot in like Oblivion, a little bit in Morrowind. Where you'd go in, it's the same pieces just kind of fit in over and over again. A God of War seems to do that with their bosses. It's the same reskin fucking boss. Like, don't you fight as an ogre or a troll like eight fucking times in that game as a boss fight? And it's always like a reskin, different fucking color of the same guy. And then you fight uh, the god himself. I don't even know who the fuck it is, Boulder or whatever, like four or five times. Uh, that's the impression I get from it. I don't really have an interest to play it. Exiled Postman for five dollars. Are you going to do? Are you going to visit the Kumite or Worski, or Worski live again? Also, I just found out you have an IMDb page. Uh, no, I'm not. Synth and the Lizard uh, Watch 199. Jeff is a reptilian synth sent by the CIA. Trump Nation for 499. Send us your 8 inch profile. That's one to uh, Queen of Paz. <laughs> Go for it. Dr. Valiance for $2. Where's the shooter cucked by a couch vid? Uh, coming up. Benny 1987 for DKK20. What's a little dick sucking between friends? So that's what he tells him at the sleepover. Kurt McCarl for five. If it glows in the dark, shift out of park. I can't even pronounce this name. I'm just going to say Russian secret agent for five. Jim, I know you're not gay, but insert a million dollars here. Antibodies for two. Look here. <laughs> Look here. Look, listen. Stop stalking me, Jim. Our Glebe Undune. <laughs> I feel like am I the fucking character in Skyrim now? Uh, for $2, what cup size is the soy father? I don't know. Judging from that stomach, he probably likes supersized things. Uh, Ilan Guy, 34 for 5. The commentary community is getting into hot water again. Consult recent posts on Doodle Diapers Kiwi Farms thread. I will take a look. Okay, I need to take a break from the super chats. Jesus. I'm, my fucking mouth is turning into uh, sandpaper here. I should still have chat up on screen, so it shouldn't just be a fucking blank screen. Yeah, there we go. I'm not sure how to switch it from top chat to live chat uh, when it's actually on the screen like that. So I will figure it out if I ever do another one of these. But uh, for now, that'll that'll have to do, I guess. And uh, just for the, the people tuning in or still watching, I, we're kind of winding down here. I'm going to go through the super chats, talk with chat a little bit. Uh, again, if you're looking for the the good part of the stream, it's about 20 minutes from the start when we start playing the audio, if you want a good laugh. That's where I'd go. i just rewind it, watch that. you got about 26 minutes of entertainment. Have some fun, and then go off and enjoy your Sunday. Go out there, have a nice dinner. Go for a walk. Do something with your wife. I, I don't know. Okay. Biz Marquito, for, or Biz Marquito 27 for 10. Good to see you stream again, Jim. Also, do you think Monday Matt is on suicide watch after the whole Kilroy thing happened? Uh, Matt looked ridiculous. 
try to tell people that there were more people there than you could plainly see. They had an event they planned originally. It was going to have hundreds and hundreds of people show up. Completely fucked it up. 300 people somehow, someway still had pre-purchased tickets to show up, and about 60 of them showed up. So when you factor in how many of that 60 were actually presenters, like 18, like 13 to 18% of the actual people scheduled to show up as an audience member showed up to Kilroy. So it ended up being a bunch of panels with like three or four YouTubers sitting up there bitching about ad revenue with a room of five or six people listening. It was, it was just fucking dumb. Uh, Zachary Hillstorm for $1.99. HRT of Paws got owned. Jim is on Team Bog. Opinion discarded? Seriously, how do I make a Twitter that doesn't get showed? Where's the line? I got mine killed within six hours of making it. $5. They could be fucking with your IP if you're registering under the same IP. Uh, I really don't know what to tell you. I mean, it's it's just a, uh, a shitty situation. Shiva Darling for two pounds. Uh, can you talk dirty to for, can you talk dirty for me? Love your voice. Sorry, no, I can't. Robert Romaine for four ninety nine. Queen of Pole is the gayest incel. Waiting for a Tampa pussy wig and a piece. Mike Thernovich for a dollar ninety nine. What do you think of failure? Worst part of the Kumite. Uh, yeah, like I said earlier, I can't stand that Viva La Raza shit. Got starting to get on my nerves listening to that. Really annoying. Phil Phil for $2. Re, you're a race mixer, re. That is true. Jim Jam Dick Slam for five pounds. Just brought my first uh, ever MIG wielder. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm losing my shit. Just bought my first ever MIG welder today. And your live stream makes this day even better. Cheers, Jim. Blue ringed octopus for $1.99. Any more tumblerisms? Nope. Uh, that is done. Opinion discarded for another 10. Seriously, how do I make a Twitter that doesn't get... Sh Okay, I swear to God that now it's repeating shit. Oh, no, it's a, it's really a different message. All right. Seriously, how do I make a Twitter that doesn't get showed? Where's the line? I got mine killed within six hours of making it. Only had two followers. It's it's a mystery. I don't, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Uh, your mom's box for $5. What do you think of the last RLM merch video? They seem to genuinely despise their fans. I haven't actually watched it, so I'll check that out. I, I don't know. I haven't seen it. H-R-T-R-U. Okay, it's 3 a.m. at my place. I'm going to bed. Good night. Sock Puppet Joe for five. The ride on the Trump train never stops. The Almighty Joe for five. Can you confirm the link between Dragon Energy and CIA Negros? It's an issue that must be discussed. It's a mystery that needs to remain. Don't want to fuck with Dragon, en <laughs> Dragon Energy or CIA Negros, especially if you're driving at night. Edmund Ploppy for two. Uh, did you hear Boogie lost 170 pounds? His wife. <laughs> actually from what i understand he went on to a podcast and bitched a lot about you know how people were making the cuck joke repeatedly uh because there's a picture of his ex-wife now uh sitting on the lap of like a black dude and he's like oh that's just our black friend and people went on and on with that but apparently that really does bother him all the jokes got to him troy fowler for five dollars any advice for making my piece of shit gpu not run at 190 uh, degrees fahrenheit thanks jim Nope, I'm stuck on a shitty laptop right now until I get my PC repaired. So I'm the last guy you want to ask computer fucking uh, questions to. Because obviously I fucked up something, and I'm suffering for it. I bark at my dogs for $14.99. Don't spend this explicitly, Jim. Slick Dragon for two. Joaquin will be reborn. Fuquad for five. How long until King of Pole turns into... <laughs> How long until King of Pole is turning tricks in the trailer park? Jetson for $5 Canadian. More like King of uh, Giardia, am I right? Here's some shekels for all the laughs over the years, Jim. Also, don't forget to wipe. Well, that's my only protection. Otherwise, he'll be down there sniffing, won't he? I need to have the shittiest ass on <laughs> on Earth to protect myself. Nathan, for $2, watch the terror. Truly, Eskino. Pinky Culture for 5 Will you post your pinky fingers on Twitter, Jim? Uh, no, I won't. The Enix Squared for $2. Jim, go read Queen of Pole's Twitter for maximum tism. Pluto for $5, and the Anglo Menace joined the RRA. VG Spook for $5. What do you think about the shit that went down with Zoom in reference to the pedo shit and his girlfriend? Uh, yeah, that was some wild fucking audio. Uh, now, they claim it was trolling, that they were fucking with people on the video sharing platform that they were on. Uh, and I, yeah, the audio is pretty damning. Uh, at the same time, uh, in all honesty, I, I knew people that did shit similar to that. Uh, where they would fuck with people in that exact manner, like back in 2006, 2007. 
but I haven't really seen anybody do that in the last fucking <sighs> decade. So I, I, I don't know what to make of it. But it's pretty damning audio. And then again, the chick showed up and said, no, it wasn't real. But then you had a lot of other people that were in the same room saying, yeah, it was totally real. So that's like a 50-50 fucking toss-up. Uh, Mike McGarcia for uh, two. Thanks for the Dino Dino chat. Talk to more devs. Justin Lewis for five. Stop reading your millions of $9 super chats, Jim. I can't. I'm obligated to. We're past the fun part of the stream. We're now into the super chat part of the stream. Go, go listen to the poll audio some more. Where he talks about how he's specific about his boys. Janice Phillips for 10. Thanks, Mr. Medicare. Your lovely live stream was jam-packed with degeneracy and should be a clear warning about what not to talk about on the interwebs. Have a fabulous evening, sir. Harambi and Guantanamo for five. Read the Talmud, people. So far, I'm 15. Even the best among the Gentiles deserve to be killed. Harsh but fair. Queen of Pole, $2. <laughs> so they're already going with it. Queen of Pole for two pounds. Send penis pics, Jim. Politically incorrect for $1.99. Please debate more internet spurgs. TV Shane, $5. 14 out of 88 gayest stream ever. Also, if King of Pole evolved into Queen of Pole, is his final form Queen of Paws. Keep up the good work, sir. Just in time for $5. Remember all those King or remember all those times King of Pole would ask you how big your dong was under the excuse of chat. <laughs> no, I don't. That seems to be a Danny problem, not a Jim problem. Taco Liquor for five. Thank you, Jim, for keeping these goyams at bay. Please take your government-issued shekels with love from the nation of Israel. Jewish pride worldwide. Pongo D for $5. You were the best part of the BA experience. OV Warrior for five. Now I know why his Twitter handle is exceptional. Ha ha. Sovereign Humanoid for 33... Er, Sovereign Humanoid 33 for $2. Sovereign Human, not Sovereign Citizen, you fucks. Ben Cornelius for $5. What are your opinions on pit bulls? Genocide them or use them as war tools. Obviously war tools. Eternal Nemesis once again for $2. Nico Nico Ni. Nee. Sean Turner for 5 Jim, go to the official podcast. I want to see salt. Morst M for $2. Uh, check King of Pole's Twitter. He's bitching about you. Cory Cory Video for $2. Pour a Mountain Dew out for our fallen brother Boogie. Is Google Skynet for $2. Jim, uh, Jim Perilous, please respond. Demand of stuff for two Canadian. How old is Jade Strap on? Also check Patreon Q&As. Will do. Just got here now. Please tell me you'll keep this up from Nate Z for two. Uganda, not Wakanda for $2. Beat up a nignog on the bus. Send me blessings. Willow01 for $2. Kill Ross and wear his skin in self-defense. Xenomancer for five. Yukus looks like XXY Down Syndrome <laughs> fucked FAS and had an illegitimate child. Darknet for Canadian 5. There's more new fags in here than Queen of Poles grinder account. Eric Falkenhain for 10. Are you going to make a video on Ryko's Trap Harem and the kid that Mossenberg himself? Uh, no. No, I'm not. TK Mao for 2. Drunk stream Metocast when? I'm 10 cores in. Uh, maybe another time. Karambi 5. Jim, you said you wanted to be in education before. How would you deal with autistic kids? Uh, wasn't going to be my area of expertise. Uh, so it wouldn't have been something I would have encountered day to day. Godhammer for two, I pooped my pants. Opinion discarded for 1488. You should do a video on TRS 504 and the uh, the degeneracy that lives there. Crackbot for 10. Queen of Paws is saying he introduced you to your girlfriend. Already, already heard that one. Brick off animations for two Canadian. Team JF, Team Andy, how about a dumpster fire? Knows her name for 999. Buy a pack of camels one day closer to sweet death. I will. Sean Cuckery for 20. Me love you long time. Apparently Jade has set up a alternate account and used $20 to tell me that. All right. Arkleb and Duin for 10. Will you bring back your finger banging on streams? Maybe. Maybe that'll be a secret episode upcoming. Skeleton for 5. I'll, I'll tweet you the Emily, or Emily Yukas links fam. Check Twitter if you're interested in a good laugh. Even better now that JF is streaming with her. That Indian dude for 20. Here's a controversial post. I heard you say ultimately vi or, I heard you say ultimately violence gets the point across. When it comes down to it, talk all you want about Muslims, but they have the guts to go out there and do it. White nationalists don't. Uh, yes, I have said that most action and most changes that you'll see throughout history are pushed forward with violence. Uh, now, if that means that Muslims are more violent and they're going to push forward their ideal, well, then they're going to be there's going to be a European caliphate, isn't there? 
So we'll see how Europe deals with it. Not looking so great so far, at least not in Sweden. Or France, or maybe even Britain at this point. I'm pretty sure the London mayor was tweeting out about how safe their city was, even though they're ranked more dangerous than New York now when it comes to killings. And talking about knife stabbings and robberies and rapes. Uh, Ariana Sharmer for $2. Jim is the CIA. I, he planned all of this. Why, though? Opinion discarded for two. Which do you prefer, Cow or Kiwi Farms? Uh, I like them both. I like... Uh, Kiwi Farms has content that stays up longer because the threads don't get deleted. And Cow has the anonymity and kind of the, the cycling that keeps it fresh. I, I don't know how to put it. They're both good. American Rebel for two. Holy shit, look at Emily Yukas on Newgrounds. Awaken Saxon for five. Debate me on the JQ. Brop. Dick Kilroy for five. Jim Stream is now 20 minutes of content and an hour of Super Chats. Anyway, I hear you ma majored in ED. What is your teaching philosophy? My teaching philosophy? I didn't like uh, what I saw in education where kids, when they're really young, need to be brought up to a certain basic level by the third or fourth grade. Because if they're not at that level when it comes to reading and comprehension, they're fucked. Like, anything after that is going to be at a slower pace. They're not going to advance anywhere. And I saw that a lot of the school systems and the educational system had a, a list with check... You know, it was... it was You were... You were just... Uh, what word am I looking for? Oh, I'm blanking out now. I'm reading too many Super Chats. My fucking mind's going blank. You, you were a tick box for them, basically. Uh, we need this many black students to graduate. We need this many uh, Asian students. We need this many Hispanic students. We need this many females. They didn't care about the kids. I mean, uh, you know, I encountered kids that were at a third or fourth grade level uh, during practicum <clears throat> where they couldn't read anything. Uh, kids that would write letters and numbers backwards because they didn't understand. And, you know, when you talk about, well, let's set up like a, a program to help them do like an after school thing, I'll volunteer and get other volunteers to help, and we'll try to bring them up so they're they're more comparable with their class. And administration would say, no, uh, we don't care. We just, you know, we're going to pass them anyway. It's somebody else's problem. And yet those same people would spend $10 $20 million, $20 or $20 million on tablets and app and all this other fucking shit, this technology that that's great, you know, who doesn't like the technology. But if your fucking kid can't read, if your kid can't write, using the app isn't going to fucking fix that. Uh, and... I just, I don't, I don't like it. My educational philosophy is kids should, kids should be brought up to a level where they are at least can be competitive going forward. And that third and fourth grade cutoff is really fucking important. And elementary schools do a disservice to a lot of their students who aren't at that level by just not giving a shit, checking them off a box saying, fuck it. And then that kid goes to junior high and high school. They, I don't know, they kind of float through it. And by the time the college comes up, they're just too fucking dumb to do anything. So it becomes society's problem. Right, because then that person can't get the job they want, can't get the education that they want, and it's just a it's a clusterfuck. Uh, Dotmo for five Canadian. Hey, sweetie Jim, I don't understand why they call you a cyberbully. Your stream is all about inclusivity and good multicultural vibes. Just why for five, Jim? How do I get girls like you do? Also, gas the Jews. Ah, uh, well, you know, I think you're on the right track. Next time you see a chick you like, you should walk up to her and be like, "Let me tell you about the kikes." It's always a good opening line. <laughs> it really, really gets the attention. It's an attention getter. Delicious destroyers for five. What are your thoughts of the meme surrounding Scrub and him being your father in that entire meme? Is Jade Scrub's real mother? Jesus Christ, you know, I made an offhanded fucking joke in chat. I did not expect that to turn into something. I feel disappointed that it did. Kyler for two. How much money have you made tonight? Holy fuck, bro. I, I don't know. I don't think they show you a total. Or they do it somewhere else. I have no clue. Satellite of Discontent for two. Talk a turn down bomb on Islam.com to an... Oh, okay, hold on. Talk a turn down bomb Islam.com to an uh, in real life fight. I'm not sure who that is. and I'm, I'm, Taka seems to be up to fight anybody, so I don't know about that. Uh, ask him. Uh, bomb Islam.com. I don't know who the guy is. I can't imagine he'd pass up a fight, though. Uh, Vibration Rising for five. King of Pole Polishing. Vrexit... Ne or, uh, Ferrix, Navidad for five. Thoughts on the PK hosts? I, I like the show. I had a good time on there. Fun guys. I was really surprised, though, that how um, 
how accommodating Woody was when I heard the shit that Wings did to him. Like, that kind of blew my mind. Because uh, Wings did some, some really fucked up shit in regards to people that were screwing with Woody. And Woody didn't get mad? Or he was just, he was too nice about it. But no, I had a good time on PK. Good guys. Uh, Joanna Henry for five. You're awesome. Thank you for your service. Kyler for five. What's it like having Joe Rogan view numbers and not necessarily wanting this much notoriety? At least I don't think you want it judging from the past. Uh, I, this isn't anywhere near Joe Rogan. Isn't he like 30,000, 50,000 viewers? And I think this is more like a one-off. Uh, people probably heard about the audio, thought it was funny, came to watch and left. Uh, you know, it was at 14,000 for a while. It's at 10 now. It'll trickle down as time goes on. Uh, Polyphant for five Canadian. Here, I've been watch or hate watching IBS ever since the Sargon Richard Spencer debate. You are probably the most enduring character I've found there. Coop for twenty. Thank you for your reply. Given that you have illustrated to Andy how simple the job streaming and getting super chats is, can you explain to me why Andy is always talking about how stressed yeah or stressed out he is? He doesn't even do it nine to five. Yes, I will. I will answer your question. Give me a second. Let me grab a drink, and I'll, I'll give you my my ideas on that. Okay, actually, before I get to that, uh, live chat, uh, what what's going on? I'm going to answer his Andy question in a minute here, but uh, hit up live chat for a minute, see what they think. Uh, Reno Thomas, so bored. I am sorry. I will find a better way of doing this. Probably the next time I won't have super chats on, <laughs> then I don't have to. Then I don't have to fucking read them. Uh, Baba Yaga, Jim is here, or in here forever. Uh, it fucking feels like it. Oh, now Sage three one one X. Andy is a lazy pothead. Harsh. Uh, M Watson, Andy is lazy. A lot of people saying Andy is lazy. Uh, that's not actually my take on it, but I'll give you my take in a minute. You heard the lighter. Uh, well, yeah, yeah, I, I smoke. It's terrible. I know. I know the risk. I'll pay the price and have nobody to blame for it but myself. Yeah, I, I smoke cigarettes. It's it's awful. Camel cigarettes. Okay. So, in regards to the in regards to the the Coop's question on uh why is he why does he act like it's so difficult? Why is he so stressed out? It's not that it's difficult. Anybody can sit here and talk on a live stream for two or three hours. Anybody can sit here and read, whether they're normal chats or super chats. Anybody can set up, you know, having a couple people come on stream and argue. I mean, there's nothing really that involved with it. Sure, you might have to do a little bit of legwork to get interesting people to come on or to find something funny to talk about. But it, it is fairly simple to do. Um, the reason Andy is stressed, this is my take on it is he lets people get into his ear. He lets people like the quartering and others constantly nag at him about how bad a show is, about how you know toxic it is, about how it needs to have a purpose, how it needs to do something different. You've got all these people bitching about how they don't like IBS. They don't like Andy Worski's show. And it starts fucking with his head. And then, you know, there's some internal drama with uh, JF or somebody else, uh, you know, or something goes on, or he, he's gets into some, you know, offshoot fight with somebody, uh, and that just adds to it. He, he lets himself get put off kilter by other people's opinions way too much. He's got to learn to kind of, like, tune it out, you know. Um, not have internet friends would be a good start, because, like, Baked Alaska, I think, really illustrates that, and I think Andy probably learned from that. Like, those, you know, it, it took one day for Baked Alaska to start screaming cokehead at him and talk about how he's records of it and all this shit uh, and just go after Andy pretty hard. Um... Yeah, you got. He has to tune that shit out. He can't let it get to him. So he, I mean, he thinks the solution is to do like gaming streams or do uh, the dude weed Lamau thing. Um, I don't know. You know, it's one of those things where I think he's going to regret it because I think he'll get the stream he wants to do where he's not getting shit from anybody. But I don't think anybody's going to watch. So you know, <laughs> the job will be easier in that regard, but it'll be a hell of a lot less money. And it would suck if three months from now the hell of a lot less money becomes the issue rather than the relaxation. But he's a big boy. He made his decision. You know, 
it is what it is. Him and JF, we'll see how it pans out. We'll see if they do well, if they do badly. Uh, if they get back together, I have no fucking clue. Uh, David David, for $5, why haven't you called out Scrub as the coattail riding faggot that he is? Papa Jim, Papa Jim. Scrub, stop being a coat riding, or coattail riding faggot and responding to every tweet. There you go, David David. Eldry, for $2, what's your opinion on Common Filth? Uh, he doesn't even do anything anymore, does he? I thought that uh, he kind of shut down all his all his stuff. I, didn't, I don't really have an opinion. Willow, one for two. Queen of Naghole, uh, hashtag rubber slut. Nate Z for 310, can you explain what's going on? Uh, just a meadow cast, nothing more. Original Naxter for 100 uh, South Korean. As an influencer, you need to be more respectful to the gays. Here, take my Swedish cuck bucks. I'm sorry, it's not South Korean, it's cuck bucks. Before I have to pay it uh, out as a uh, Jiza. Okay. Captain Toad for $2, I love you, Dad. Fucking stop that. Joanna Henry for $2. Thank you for your service. Vibrating Rising, King of Pull Swallowing for $5. Brigsby Bear for 10 Jim, I don't know if you've already talked about this, but uh, you probably did. But were you watching live when Jeff and Andy broke up? Also, how long did you cry for? I, I didn't cry at all. Uh, and I watched the clips of it. I, I don't think I actually watched it live as it happened. Sacrocidal uh, Hypochrist for two. Why are you a Kang? I'm not black enough to be a Kang. Akashic Soldier for five. I hate how everyone fears you. Says to me that they are secret degenerates. Sovereign Humanoid, 33 for five. I respect the way you research. Please consider investigating all these phony fake drills. Active shooter events. V too easy for $1.99. Skip this comment. Too late. Rabbi Herschel Lieberman Berg Blasting. Mike Enoch of the Daily Showa is married to a Jew. Fuck you, Google, for $2. The Super Chats will never end, Jim. Uh, V-A-W-B-C carry for 5 Thank you for busting pedos, Jim. Glad to see you... <laughs> Jesus. My voice is going. Fuck. Glad to see there's good guys out there. P.S. It's only gay if wieners touch. $10 from O-B-G-Y-N Kenobi. You were worthy of my first ever Super Chat. Thanks for the entertainment over the years. Roasted Furbies for $2. Queef of Poles Little Boy Dungeon. Royal for $24.99. The alt-right is a dead meme, kids. All hail Jim the Sardonic Slayer. The undefeated humble Cobra Ronnie Snow. Uh, Jake Zanarki for a dollar. There's no message. Dick Kilroy, you missed my $5 super chat. Please respond for two. Alaris, will you still show up on Kumite and such? Or are you burning that bridge for good for $5? I, I've kind of taken a backseat on all the fucking shows. Uh, my interest in the first place was just watching them. I just kind of got roped in a lot because I'd have people show up that wanted to to debate or argue, uh, and then they were awful at it. Uh, one was like Robobrain, who showed up, and it was just fucking garbage. Another guy was just fucking around trolling. Uh, the Ross one got a bit heated, but yeah, I'm, I'm more of a watcher. I just want to be able to watch people yell at each other. That's all I'm fucking looking for. Just so <laughs> that's all I want. Uh, Anon for five. Who has a bigger ego, Tonka or JF? Uh, JF does. If I'm being honest, yeah, I'd say JF does. Um, but they have egos in different ways, I guess. Uh, JF uh, fancies himself kind of like a high intellectual, and Tonka fancies himself like a, a bare-knuckle scrapper. You know what I mean? Like, one thinks that if JF and Tonka were to get together and have, like, a, <laughs> a fucking IBS off with one another... Jeff would probably be fairly confident that he'd win the mathematics portion and the English comprehension, and Tonka would probably be real confident that he'd win track and field events. Alan Rifter for $1.99. King of Pole has autism and AIDS. Uh, Hurick Ruff for $10. King of Pole just wants to know why they call them Soda Can Dan, or why they call him Soda Can Dan. Chaim Moshi, Chaim Moshi Hebowitz for $4.99. And he's stressed out because he's constantly working the eight ball from nine to five. <laughs> It doesn't uh, sig much because he's a real fruit. Edmund Ploppy uh, for $2. No cringe guest. Jimbo only. Uh, FBI gook for £5. Did you enjoy Scrubs dick riding you? Dragonzord, 69 for £5. Show us your dick pics, Jim. Viva La Rasa. Daniel Manfrego for £5. A few shekels, Jim. The Armageddon Accelerationist. Keep up the good work. Axton Hale for $2. Hey, Jim, are you going to do another E3 stream this year? No, I'm going to watch it, though. Hopefully somebody does a really good stream of it. There's supposed to be some entertaining shit this year. I don't have a lot of hope for, like, Xbox, because Microsoft is always fucking incompetent. 
Sony probably will have some good shit. Nintendo will probably have some good shit. Maybe a few decent things for PC. I'm just going to sit back and relax. I have no intention of streaming E3 this year. Cool Dude McGurk for $5. Check out my niggers on the Hate Bus podcast. $5 twice from Emmer, er, Emmy Chu. We got both King of Paws and Prince Paws. Diabolus Abscondus for two. Best nickname, Queen of Paws. Bismarck Keto, 27 for $5. How about Queen of Pausing Paul? Or, Jesus. Queen of Pausing Poles Hole. Royal for nine ninety nine. Imagine actually spending money on a fucking super chat. Eternal Nemesis for two dollars. Nico Nico Nee ten dollars complete. Ava Unit O two. You should research Xbox fanboy YouTubers, weapon grade autists who say and do outrageous shit on a regular basis on YouTube and Twitter. For New Zealand Fiverr. Two dollars Canadian. Mako three two one two three. Any chance for an update on Terry Davis? I don't know what Terry Davis is up to. I'll be honest with you. From what I understand. Uh, the last thing I saw of him, he was jacking off in a van in the desert. <laughs> like, I don't know what Terry's been up to. I, I think he got arrested for a while, and then he got kicked out of his home for a while, and he was doing some weird shit in the desert for a while, and that's kind of like where I lost track of him. Uh, Zilka Fish for $5. First Super Chat ever. Take my shekels. VY, a.k.a. The Purple Dragon for five forty nine Canadian. Kick Jim. Down Forward Punch for $10. I have to laugh that King of Faggot's new Twitter handle is The Exceptional T. <laughs> The D is for Dick. Get, get AIDS, Brian. Ellen Reddig for $2. Hey, Paul, why no pause my neg hole? Big L, 2K6. Pubhorn for $2. Have you ever seen the film Borat? Yes, I have. Snowfall Slasher for 125 Thanks for the laugh, Jim. Needed something to wake me up at the office? Hope you do more of these. Schwan Gruberman for 5 The Soy Father gets his due in the end. Andy and JF split. Well, you know, there is only one man who laughs at the end of this all, as IBS implodes and burning wreckage surrounds us all, a man silently chuckling to himself, uh, laughing, whispering under his breath as his pet gypsy sits in his lap, whispering gently, you should have just read Loki. You should have just read Loki. John H. Freeman for $5. Westkind, how long till the money badgers are dead? (laughs) I have no idea. Lydia, er, Lydia Pinkston, one ninety nine BB BB location. Shallon Stacker for two dollars. Could you do Doctor Murdoch's impression for us? No, I could not. Slander Bob for five. Please do baked Alaska video of some sort. It will drive him crazy. Everyone will laugh at him more. Two dollars from Rabbi Herschel Lieberman, Berg Blasting, Read Siege by James Mason, KS Wheels for two dollars. Queen of Paws ended your friendship. Queen of Paws ended your friendship via Twitter. Alejandro Tavera for two. This is not a normal situation. Mike Hunt for four ninety nine. You're going to be reading super chats all night. What kind of asset spends money on a free YouTube stream? Wait, goddamn it. Argleb Undoon for five. King of Pole has a butthole like a dinner plate. <laughs> Striker Quiet for five. Clip Count Olaf saying, "Welcome to the House of Freaks." This would be a great, or this would be an apt intro. For any new series or streams you engage. Azure Fox Girl for five. Hey Jim, when King of Pole sticks his pole into a man, do you think he pulls out <laughs> do you think it do you think it pulls God shit. Do you think he pulls it out covered in corn? I don't know. He's not douching properly before engaging in anal activity. Uh, as we heard in the call from the other gentleman who said he didn't believe it was clean enough. So he's probably pulling out uh, five pounds of fudge. Z Z Eman for two dollars Canadian was the only way to get rid of the surplus of men. 36 including or 37 including me for $2. Jim is putting Andy's stream views to shame. Zach Zarnicky for 5. Take my money you Jew and keep up the good work. Sir Dunning Kruger for 5. Any news on if Ross the virtuous pedophile got reported to the FBI? He was reported to the police, to the local sheriff, and I believe people got in contact with the school. Uh, outside of that, I don't know. Uh, there are people that know him better than I do. They'd have more information on what the fuck actually happened with that. But I, I, from what I understand, he's not been arrested. I don't know if he's still working at the school. I don't know the whole situation. So I, I couldn't give you a great update. TDOMZ for five pounds. Is 2018 literally gay internet kino? It's looking like it. Schwan Gruberman for five. Oh, the giantest one. Is that the one where the mini man has to eat the toe jam between the toes? Fuck you. Yes, it is. BTK for 666. 
Lost my third Twitter last night, Jim. New one is the, with two E's, damn BTK. I was the one that brought Ross out of his hook. I, I'm guessing you meant hole. And on to Kumite. Well, there you go. If you want to meet the man that was responsible for uh, luring out Ross, that is at T-H-E-E-D-A-M-N-B-T-K. There you go. Give me a second here. Let me have a drink. Check a few more things out and continue on from there. I think if I, let me see, if I refresh this, what happens? Uh, let me see. Sorry, chat. I, I know dead air sucks. Give me one second. If I had some fucking music queued up, it'd probably be a better idea. Next time I will do that. Okay. All right, chat, I appreciate the super chats. Uh, it's very generous of you all, but please, for the love of fuck, stop. I, I refreshed the page and it's already scrolled down, so let me just chat for, <laughs> chat for free. Okay, I I really appreciate just shit post for free. That would be really fucking great of you guys to do right now, as I try to catch up with this. That guy earlier wasn't fucking around. Twenty minutes of fucking stream, three hours of super chats. Uh, no, I have not lost the dragon energy. I've still got I've still got my momentum going. Stop the fucking shekel chats. Uh, yes, I'm reading a live chat now. I'm just trying to catch up. You yeah, free chat. That's right. Free chat. Say shit. Say shit for free. You can say anything you like. There are no mods. You're completely free to say shit. Uh, Alonzo, where's Jade? Uh, she is probably playing video games right now. Probably on her uh, 3DS playing. Oh, what the fuck is it? It's some, it's some RPG. Uh, Bravely Default, I think is, is... I'm pretty sure that's the name of it. That or she's playing Gears of War 4. It's either Bravely Default or fucking Gears of War 4. Uh, Jim, you are a weeb? Yes, I am a bit of a weeb, chat. Uh, I do enjoy anime, and I do like playing video games. Okay, I think I found my, my place here. Now let's continue on. Hands Handsome for $5 Canadian. I'm just here for the free food. Have my Monopoly money. Thank you very much. DVLX uh, for two pounds. In Scotland, poop equals jobby. King of Bull is a jobby jabber. I, I, I'm not, I, I don't think I'm going to be able to pronounce this name. Uh, for two pounds. I think that's two pounds. Two euros, maybe? Good luck saying my name, Medicare. Mwahaha. Yeah, you got me. I, there's, I don't know how to fucking say that. Izzy N for $2. Be right back, Medicare. Gotta do my chores. Cult of the Lich for 125 PHP. Stephen Lynch, Hermaphrodites. Would have been a great background song to this. I also vote for Queen of Pole Puffing. Kurt McCarl for $5. If it glows in the dark, shift out of park. Jenkins Maggie for 2 Black Lives Matter nigger. You aren't tough. Fuck you. The Orange Cow for 20 Jim is the reason you don't show your face because you were actually Boogie2988. You caught me. You got me, buddy. I am Boogie2988. In which case, God, you know, he, I I know that it sucks that his wife is leaving him, but he makes a lot of money, right? I mean, he makes a, a considerable amount of money doing his YouTube shit. So he'll be a fairly young guy that lost a shit ton of weight. He'll be healthier, and he's making a bunch of money. You know, things are looking up for him. Like, he'll be able to go out and date and shit. And be like, you know, hey, I, I got a shit ton of cash, and uh, <laughs> let's fucking play some Mario. Will be his pickup line. Uh, the Honorable Reverend Fuckface Chainsaw for four ninety nine. Some shekels for a good boy. Is N for two dollars. I'm back. Chores complete apparently. 
the Phoenix unit for a dollar. Thank you. Lady Lulz, keep up the OG trolling. This is what we love. Keep up inspiring trolls per, or trolling perfection. You're right. We want to watch Springer or Provoke for five dollars. Springer wasn't bad. I, the mindset now is everything is drama, right? That's the that's the the phrase that's thrown out to shit on anything that's entertaining. That's just drama. At the heart of all fucking trolling, at the heart of every entertaining shit show and trash fire uh, that you've ever watched online, at the very heart of that is drama. So, yeah, it, Springer's good. It's the it's fucking entertaining. Uh, TK Mao for $1.99. Blood for the Blood God, Skulls for the Skull Throne. Meto Viet for 5 God is angry at the West for letting women vote. Repeal the 19th, Deus Volt. Fantastic breasts and where to find them for $2. You got me out of bed in the morning. Gab the Dizzle for four ninety nine. Repsion is in the house. What are your thoughts on King of Paws not liking your feet porn? Sounds hurtful. Massive Damage Gaming for $5. Cal thinks you have a foot fetish. Do you like eating toe jam, Jim? No, I do not like eating toe jam. That uh, is fucking horrendous, uh, by the way. Evil Panda 15 for $2. Did you see Ralph's stream on Bake last night? Uh, no, I have not. Paul, uh, Paul, <laughs> Jesus. B-movie Paul for $2. It's not gay if you both give a Roman salute. Maybe that's how they got around it. Maybe Paul was like, we just enough. if we do enough Roman saluting as we're fucking each other in the ass, it's totally not gay. Sir Super Goat for $2. Uh, no message attached. Stock it after midnight for 2 Fed Peds, Thirsty Fags, and Potato Spring Cleaning. For Posterity, Canadian 5. Vermintide 2 is really good. You should try it. What have you been playing recently? Anything you're looking forward to? Um, you know, I played Vermintide 1. Uh, I, I did like it. There were some issues with it. I haven't had a chance to look at the newer one. Uh, it, it is a game that I'll probably end up picking up, but I, I like to look for shit that's on sale. Like, I, I've gotten to the point where I don't need to buy it just because it came out, because, like, in this day and age, even if it's a physical game, chances are after two or three months that shit's going to drop to $40 or $20. So I'll usually let it go for three to six months and then buy it when it's dirt cheap. And the great thing about PC gaming especially with shit like Steam and other uh, services. Like, you can buy it digitally within a fucking month for half the price, or they have some kind of sale going on. So that's, you know, I'll probably pick it up, but I'll wait for it to get cheap. Uh, and what have I been playing lately? Anything I'm looking forward to? I haven't really been playing much as of late because my PC is getting fixed, and uh, there's nothing like I've got pegged that I, I really want to take a look at that's got me really hyped, I guess. Kyler for two, check out Call for an Uprising on YouTube. He's nuts. Foster for $1.99. Bloodsport should become in real life fist fights. No gloves. Brainwright for $5. If King of Paws has a problem, he can suck an exceptional D. Bernard Corin for $5. Medicare, when's the next Ross video? Arg. Also, fuck LGBTQ. They're subhuman and belong six feet under. CS for $2. King of Poles Kiwi farm page is going to get spicy as fuck. Cool dude McGurk for $5. Check out my dudes at the Hate Bud. Uh, let me say this right. Hate Bus Podcast. We're firing up the ovens. So if you want to check that out, it's the Hate Bus Podcast is where you can check it out. Mr. Phenomenal. Mr. Phenomenal. Spelled weird, but all right. $5. Hey, man, love the things you do. You'll think you'll end up on PKA again in the future. Um, I'm not sure. If they invite me back, I'd go on. Like I said, I had a good time. Nice guys. Uh, yeah, it was fun shooting the shit with them. The Phoenix Unit for two, uh, Nuke It from Orbit, J Toki 12 for $2, Monday Matt already abusing the new uh, YouTube system F. I know a lot of people have made complaints about Monday Matt and his abusing the system. I'll throw my two cents in here. Um, in regards to cognitive thought, Matt did have the copyright. I, like, he's not abusing that aspect of it. It was just a straight up rip and an upload. Like, I get it, cognitive thought he was covered because he altered the speed and stuff, um, and he, you know, moved stuff around, but you know, Matt was, Matt was within his rights to do what he did. He's still a cunt for doing it. Um, my philosophy has always been, I don't care. You can take all the videos I do, put them up on your fucking channel. Go ahead. I've got mirrors of videos I've done that are mirrored on fucking 20 different channels. Half of them are monetized. I, I don't give a shit. So at least for me, you know, I can't speak for Monday and Matt, but for me, feel free to take any content I ever make, do whatever the fuck you want with it. I have no problems with that. Uh, as far as him abusing other systems, I have noticed a really weird coincidence where if you make a video making fun of Monday and Matt, it suddenly gets hit for hate speech or bullying and gets pulled down. 
Uh, now, I know that's happened to like three or four people recently, but I had that happen with a video I did on it. If you look on my channel, there's like a 30 second video that was a stream bump from like two or three years ago that was making fun of Monday and Matt for turning off that pesky ad block. And out of nowhere, about a year ago, it just all of a sudden gets pulled down for bullying and hate speech. Now, YouTube ended up reversing that, but they put an age restriction on it. So it, it, it's really bizarre that every video that mocks him seems to suddenly get pulled down. Uh, I got lucky and got mine back up. Uh, other people haven't been so lucky. So there you go. Uh, Bingus MB for 10 New Zealand. Thought you and Internet Blood Sports was friends. Uh, I'm sorry, was friends? Uh, I'm not friends with anybody. Uh, Internet friends is stupid. Uh, there are people I get along with, shoot the shit with, uh, have a laugh with. That's fine. But uh, the Internet friendship thing is just fucking dumb. Esoteric Entity for $5. Gold is leaving us volts now. <laughs> oh, God. Gold is leaving U.S. volts now. The currency war is starting. Buy gold and crypto now. Well, Esoteric, you should have thrown, like, a website on there. I would have shilled your shit. You put your super chat in. I would have said whatever website you wanted. Uh, Arglob and Dune for 5 Strong correlation between Schlong Envy and Alt-Right Views. Millennial Hose and Queen of Pole match made in heaven. Double Dingus for 5 I sometimes think about your DFL video. And it gives me a smile. Thank you. VG Spook for $5. That message deleted was probably me asking about the Zoom controversy. Damn it, the Jews at Google better refund me. Uh, yeah, I actually answered that if you if you scroll back a little bit. Somebody or somebody asked the same question, so you should get an answer for it. David Jones for $4.99. Matt Smart is a gay boy. Zombie for two. Thanks for the stream, GM. Can't wait for another one. Uh, Maldictum for two. Pegging is not gay in any way, shape, or form. Marauder Shields for $5. Weekly Metalcast, please. Phil's Lab for two. Intentionally left blank. Skylar DeBeer. Jade's gook name is Ling Ling Woohoo. Uh, it should be. Maybe we can get it legally changed to that. Joanna Henry for $2. Thank you for your service. User 44 for 5 I couldn't be. Uh, I couldn't decide between giving the Purple Dragon or the public space. After these few months, I only want blood. Thanks, Jim. I'm on my own team. It's the best way to go about it. Adam Blythe for $5. Spoil Infinity Wars for everyone. <laughs> Told McKinley for two. You read here, you'll be, uh, read faster, or you'll be here all day, moron. I'm sorry. I, I want to give people their money's worth and at least read it legibly if I can. Bingus MB for 10. Jim, could you please say Hobbix is a smelly Jew? Or is it Hobix? Hobix is a smelly Jew. One of the two. Shiva Darling for two pounds. Uh, will you get to the furry pandemonium? Yes, I am going to get to that. One dollar from Trent. No comment. Uh, Levi and Maidens for two. Get or Call Monday and Matt a cuck. Monday and Matt, you are a cuck. Tanked Alaska for five. Thank you for being a part of Tanked Alaska experience. Troy Fowler for five. What's King of Poles Twitter? I'm too autistic to find it. I believe it's the exceptional D. That's what, uh, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Uh, Dave, 55811, I've been curious and I thought I'd ask, have you been haunted by a ghost of Randy Stair yet? No, I have not. I don't know what Randy Stair is doing. <clears throat> he has not returned as a transsexual ghost girl from a children's cartoon show. He's probably burning in hell as we speak. <laughs> and probably really regretful that he thought he'd reemerge and reincarnate as a fucking cartoon while he's getting a pitchfork up his fucking ass. Virtual Vomit for 20 Canadian. Thank you, Jim. Never stop being you. A Viable Ninja for 5 pounds. Jim is strapping a crash helmet on your favorite spud and fucking it the best way to become a cult leader in 2018. Scrubs got birth cancer. Kyler for 2. Me, Jim, the person reading this is a gay man. <laughs> well played, Kyler. Cassie B for $2. Jeff fanboys are incel circlers. Northern Winds for $5. Jim, did you prep Jamal so you can swallow his superior Negroid seed? Moreover, do you think you'll ever do a follow-up vid on Mama K? Uh, from what I understand, the son ended up leaving uh, his mother's care, went to live with the father for a while, and I don't know after that. He was he was a teenager, so by the time he left, he was like 15 or 16. He's probably an adult now. I, I don't know what their follow-up would be. I don't even know what she's doing. She's probably in a gutter somewhere. That, that, that chick was fucking Looney Tunes. J-Tune, 200 for two. Need rent money, Jew boy? Why do you do super chat? Ban anime for five. LF hairless cute femboy to let me call him Danny and RP with me. PST colon P. Steven Stromboli for two dollars. Nico Nico knee. 
CS for two dollars. The alt right is <laughs> the alt right, but is a gay Jewish dating site. Evan Danielson for five. Jim, love your content. Keep it up. What's your opinion of Sam High and Million Dollar Experience? Or Million Dollar Extreme? I think Sam Hyde's funny. I, I don't know what he's been up to lately. It's like two days ago, all his videos suddenly disappeared. So I don't know if he's just fucking with people or if they're back up now. Uh, but I, I noticed that they just kind of like there was one video left up on his channel. So I'm not sure what's going on. A Wild Fox appears for $2. Thanks for being a super sweetie, Jim. Opinion discarded for 5 Thank you for tweeting advice, you nasty nipper. Marauder Shields, $5. Any games you're looking forward to? Uh, not really. Frederick Godzilla Menken for 10 Canadian. Thank you for, uh, thank you. Keep up the good work from a crazy crowd. Andrew M from 2. Uh, will you disown Scrub? Yes, I will. Dis scrub is disowned. Fence Sitter for 2. Nico Nico, neck yourself. Neil Kiggers for $2. When will our country stop being paused? Not and, and not not anytime soon. I'm sorry to say, uh, Neil Kiggers, not anytime soon. Heavy Hebrew for fourteen eighty eight. Jim, what is the hell with all the uh, what the hell is with all the degenerates and pedos being on the internet? You know, I, I got asked that on PKA when I did their podcast, and at first, I you know what I told them was I think it's just maybe it's more prevalent because it's more noticeable. Maybe it's always been that fucked up, but because we have internet access and we can interact so much more easily, it's more noticeable. It's more out in front of us. It can't be hidden behind closed doors as easily. But I, I don't know. I think it feeds into itself. I think you have groups of people that are into really weird shit. Some of it really nasty, illegal shit. Um, and, you know, if, if they were on their own in a town or a city and there wasn't the internet around, they would be shunned by the public for engaging in the weird shit they do. So it would be a very private matter and it wouldn't be spread to others. But with the internet, you can take your weird fucked up thing and find other people that are into that exact weird fucked up thing. And then you get together as a group and convince yourself you're not outliers anymore, that there's a majority of you, that it's totally normal and acceptable and believable and inclusive. And it fuels this weird fucked up mindset where people get into just darker shit because of that. I, I, I don't fucking know. That's my best guess. Sean Turner for five dollars. How do you feel about Soy Father and the conference with people and the conference with people messing with their individuals? Uh, I, the conference messing with people with my individuals. Are you talking about Kilroy, or did Soy Father do another conference? I, I wouldn't know. Uh, I think the same thing. Oh, how do you feel about Short Soy Father and the conference about messing with people? I, I don't. Know, I'm not sure you're talking about Sean. You mean Monday Matt? I've already gone over that. Uh, Colt Revolver for two Canadian. Hey, Jim, what kind of video games uh, you played? Uh, like RPGs? I, I'm like an old school RPG guy. Uh, Shadow of the Colossus 103 for 20. Jim, there's been a whole bunch of liberal bullshit happening in the re-switched community. I guess Paul Joseph Watson was right about Soy Boys being the majority of Nintendo Switch owners. Should do a Hugbox Chronicle on them. Uh, I'm actually completely unfamiliar with this, so uh, I'll take a look. I, I, I don't know. Sir Dunning Kruger for five. Have a good night, Jim. My wife and I love listening to you. Here's another five Wisconsin cheese curds. Andrew M for two. Can we get a 1488 in the chat? Uh, chat Andrew here for his two dollars would like some 1488s in the chat. I'll give you a minute to comply, and give Andrew's two bucks worth of 1488s, which gives me an excuse to take a moment so my voice doesn't explode and I can have a sip of fucking my drink here. Jim will pee for eight minutes straight after the stream. You're probably right, chat. <laughs> You're probably right. I should have had a better drink prepared. Maybe like some kind of a tea, I'm sure would be good for your throat when you're reading a lot. God, you know, this actually gives me, I, I have some grudging, no, I'm not grudging. I have respect for uh, Frederick uh, Knutson when he read, because he read all 70 pages of that fucking, um, that guy with the glasses Google Doc. And that, that, was, that was crazy. I mean, that was like a six hour stream. I don't know how the fuck he did it. I don't know what he was drinking. He's got to have some kind of secret or something. There you go. There you go, Andrew. I think you got you. I think you got your bang for your buck on that one. Brian Reck for five dollars can uh, always depend on you for the highest quality lows. Keep up doing God's work. 
Sneer quotes for $5. You can use a co-host to fill the dead air. I recommend David Duke. Grant McCarter for for $2. Mr. Medicare is a top influencer of 2018. Fuck no. Neil Kiggers for $2. Please stop gang-socking me and my family. Frederick Godzilla Menken for $5 Canadian. You say you have an Asian girl. Does she make you eat Lou by Go and Kongi? No, uh, we uh, like pho. I like pho a lot. Um, like spring rolls, egg rolls, that kind of shit. Rice dishes, that kind of stuff. Lettuce rolls are fucking amazing, by the way. That's some, that's some fucking great shit. Uh, Zesso for $2. Any plans to go on the dick show again? Uh, yeah, if you, if you invited me on, I'd, I'd pop back on. I had a fun time there. Eternal Nemesis for two dollars, or the hairiest ass. Furry oats for one, or furry oats one for five dollars. No message attached. The Wardlin, thanks for the cast. By the way, where is the wings video? It's coming up. Uh, Mullet Viking for twenty. Medicare for millionaire. What are you doing in my swamp for five dollars? Jim, you've reached internet celebrity super chat singularity. Will you ever finish the super chats? I'm catching up. I'm catching up. Douche Canoe Mo for $5. We told you paddling the Douche Canoe years ago, or we told you on paddling the Douche Canoe years ago that people would give you money if you let them. You are right. Uh, you did tell me that. Uh, yeah, you were right. Uh, yeah, I, if I do another Meadowcast, I, uh, there's an option to turn it off and on. Uh, I'm probably not going to have it on that much. Uh, this is a lot of reading. Troy Fowler for $5. The same fucks that make fun of people being cucks. King of Pole fans are now acting like it's not funny that King of Pole is trying to get Naked Ape to be a cuck. Kyler for two. I'm a little sick of faggot. I need my fuck flu injection. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm a little, I'm a sick little faggot. I need my fuck flu injection. Sorry about that, Kyler. J. Moshi Hebowitz for $1.99. When's the Aaron J.F. shipping going to start? I'm not sure. I think uh, it's going to be him and Emily, is it Yukis? Is that how you say it? Because that's a new co-host for Jeff. Boz for two. Any tips on looking through live stream? On, on looking through it? I'll, I'll put up timestamps. It's like the first 20 minutes is just shooting the shit about IBS. Uh, the middle 25 minutes is the King of Pole audio. And then the rest is Super Chat reading. So I and I think that's what you're asking. So, But I'll put, uh, put timestamps up once this is done rendering. Uh, the narrator for five. Been watching for years. Keep it up, Jim. Your videos are the sole reason I was able to drive for 20 hours without going crazy. Uh, thank you. Uh, boss for $2. Any tips for looking through live streams? I'm not sure if that repeated that or if you did it twice. Uh, Horsecock for $2 Canadian. Of course, that would be a Canadian name. Hi, Jim. Mox Gay for a dollar. Michael Jones for $3.99. Shout out to all America. Shout out to all the America First Nikers. The JCO888 for $2. Be to uh, be that tum motherfucking bix nude bin ho motherfucker. Phil's lab for a dollar. Space shank for two dollars. Eat to poo poo. Trump nation for a dollar ninety nine. What's the total shuckle count, Jim? I honest to fucking god don't know. Disky Fringo ten dollars. Jim, after all is said and done, you will still hate doing streaming. Yes, I will. Do you think that more people will go to streams than to do videos in the future? Yeah, I'll, I'll give you my uh, take on this. For the poor bastards that are still watching, sitting through super chat rating. Uh, what I think the future of YouTube is going to be. I'm just taking a minute to light up a cigarette because that should help a sore throat. So the reality of the situation is this, at least as I see it. Uh, Twitch has gone retarded. If you're a poor motherfucker that streams on Twitch, uh, you're up shit creek. Uh, They put you on the fucking we need to monitor you every day of the week list, right? If you say something bad on Twitter, on Facebook, on some other social media platform, we'll shut your fucking channel down. If you make a joke we don't like, we're going to shut your fucking channel down. Uh, if you insult somebody, we're going to shut your fucking channel down. If you don't sit there and let somebody talk shit about you, we're going to shut your fucking channel down. Like, it, it's becoming harder and harder to be a Twitch streamer, at least from what I've been seeing happening. And one of the appealing parts of Twitch was you could make all this fucking money doing it, right? You get uh, people, don't, what is it, bits or whatever the fuck it is? Uh, and subscriptions and all that shit. Well, now with, and, and you know, you look at YouTube, right? And videos were fucking impossible for people for a while because everything would get labeled as hate speech or put into uh, the timeout, whatever that was, the, uh, what is it, limited mode? Or they take off your ad revenue or they do all sorts of shit. But the one avenue, right? And the, the one thing I think is going to happen is you're going to see all these Twitch streamers 
not the, that the really huge guys, right? The really huge guys are untouchable. Nobody's going to fuck with them. They're bringing in a ton of money. But the moderate sized channels are going to get fucked with by Twitch so much they're going to jump over to YouTube. And they're not going to do what YouTubers do. They're not going to try to struggle for a nickel on a fucking 20 minute video uh, that nobody wants to advertise on. Instead, they're going to do streaming. And with fucking Super Chat and Streamlabs integration and the sponsorship shit if you have a gaming channel, it's basically Twitch. And I, I think YouTube really doesn't care at the moment uh, too much about live streaming. Uh, yeah, there are rules in place, but for the most part, you're kind of left on your own because it's not really a huge aspect of the website. So I think there's like a big fucking kind of empty hole that can be filled with shit. And I think all these YouTubers and all these Twitch streamers are going to say, we're getting fucked off our platform. We're getting fucked out of the content we like to do. We're getting fucked on the money. But look, here's this opening doing YouTube streaming where kind of nobody's fucking with us, where we have more freedom. You know, even compared to Twitch, you could make jokes on a YouTube stream and game that you could never make on Twitch. YouTube streams don't give a shit if you tweet out something nasty. So I think people are going to transition over to that. Yes, so to answer your question, you're going to see a fuck ton of people rushing to do streams. Absolutely. Uh, there's there's so much fucking money in it. Um, I, I don't know. It's I, I don't know how they're going to do it. I mean, I've been sitting here for... Th this stream is going three hours. I'd say an hour's worth of it was me talking about IBS and going over the King of Pole audio. It's been two hours of Super Chats. So they probably have a better system. I, I don't know. But yeah, there's going to be a bunch of fucking people streaming. That's where the money is. If you want to make money on YouTube, go do streaming every day. Build up a, a fucking audience. Uh, Richie for 20 bucks. Rip Art Bell. Uh, definitely. Rest in peace there, Art. Uh, Big L for 10. Hey, Jim, it's been a while. Apparently, H -chan, found, or, uh, apparently H Chan found a real photo of you. Any word on this? Uh, no idea. Hopefully, it's a great looking photo. Nil Kiggers for $2. Here's $2. I hope you get a nicer wheelchair, Jim. Thank you very much. The Wardland for $2. When are you going to go back on PKA? Uh, again, if, if they invite me, I'll pop back on. Uh, Frederick Godzilla Menken for $2. When is the next Metalcast? I have no idea. Probably not anytime soon. Cult of the Lich for two fifty. One Gas of Streams. Two, the background song uh, to that clip should have been Stephen Lynch Hermaphrodite. Three, I vote for King of Pole. Puffing for blocks. Or four, blocks of Super Chats keep vanishing. I, I, I don't know. I'm new to Super Chats. I'm, I'm going through the list. There's like a, a list you can check out on... Um, uh, your creator studio under community. So I've just been going from the, the very first one all the way up the list. So even if they're uh, you know disappearing on the chat itself, I, I still think I have them listed here. Uh, Dick Tuno for five. Here's five. Just bringing back the Metalcast. Keep it going. Your mom's box for two. Will you do an E3 stream this year? Uh, no. Frederick uh, for five. Try the Benson and Hedges Super Slims. Easy on the throat. I'll take a look. Dirt Pants for four ninety nine. What even uh, was the Common Grounds forums? I was there for a little bit, and then it died. Was that uh, you who actually managed it? Yeah, it was just a, a shitty little... I can't even remember what kind of fucking forum it was, what software we used. But yeah, it was just a shitty little forum that was up for like two months, three months. Uh, it's like a stopgap after Medicare shut down. Edmund Ploppy for two. Uh, you ever watch Seth and Zinach reviews? I probably butchered that fucking name. and No, no, I, I, I don't think I've seen them. Uh, JF's girl Stewart for 549 Canadian scrub is superior to you. Hurtful. Trigger for happy. $2 is Queen of Pole's favorite anime, Boku no Piku. <laughs> well, it is filled with femboys. Might not be too far off. Phil Grime for $2. What do you think of Frederick Knudsen? Like his content. Good shit. Kenneth Spence for $5. Make shit posting great again. 1488 from Collective Consciousness Controlled. Wait, don't please. Jim pleaded as he felt himself being lifted higher, closing in towards Jade's face as she opened her mouth. Jim struggled, but lost his grip, sliding down into her huge maw. Horsecock for five Canadian, when was the last time you sucked cock? Why did you love him? Uh, Max Gay for $2. Is the internet in America, Jim? Yes, it is. Our Mike for $2. When will Crouton T kill himself? Time will tell. Robert Santigo for five. Is this one-off or will you... Do, er, I'm losing my ability to talk. Is this a one-off or will we expect another stream in the future? Uh, probably not anytime soon. Like I said, I'm not really big into streaming. TK Mao for $2. Shout out to the Mate Full Semi-Automatic. Fright Power. Airborne Knave for $2.99. Is Aqua Teen Hunger Force a good show? Uh, yeah, if you're really stoned. 
Yeah, it's not, it's not bad. It was good on its Adult Swim block uh, for a while. Marilyn Monroe, the boomer thought for 20. Your rant of education is 100% correct and it angers me. I work in education and helping students is more important to me than my job. I'll do what I can for the students and the school system can screw off. Never change, Jim. Yeah, it's a fucked up system, I agree. Stevie Ray Vaughan, free helicopter rides for $5. Jim, did you answer the question on Patreon? Also, my cousin is a furry and wants to know how much it costs to RP colon through RP colon three with him. Pray for me. I, I RP colon three with no one. And I will I will get to the Patreon ones in a little bit here. A bald guy creation for two. Like it or not, you're my internet friend. Royal for two ninety nine. Camels are okay, but par or try Parliament full flavor, good as fuck. Schwan Gruberman for five. Jim, please, please do the Jesse Ventura intro for conspiracy theory. Uh, that wasn't actually my voice. That was Blackface Kermit. Ryan for five. I'm guessing that Paul Joseph Watson catches for Alex Jones. What do you think? <laughs> well, Alex had a clip where him and Paul Joseph Watson were talking about Trump uh, sucking dick. And Alex uh, bravely proclaimed into the camera that he doesn't suck no ding-dongs. So you're probably right. Failure accomplished for $2. Jim, tell them you're really my friend. Viva la rasa. And I think that catches... Oh, fuck, are there more? Okay. I'm going to take a two-minute break. I will put on... What should I put on? I'll put on some... You know what? I'm going to let Gay Bar play again. There we go. I'm going to put on a little background music for you, chat. And then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go have a drink. And I'm going to come back and we're going we're gonna to pound through these super chats. And uh, banter for a little bit. And then call it a night. Call it a night. <laughs> Okay. All right. Give me a little bit of a time there to rest my throat. <laughs> Which, in the context of the stream and the audio we heard, probably is not the best choice of words, but moving along. Let's, uh, I think I'm finally caught up. I'm close to it. I'm really close to it. Okay, yeah, I think uh, almost there. Okay, finish this up. Richard Cramian, uh, for two dollars, do you still take to, or do you still talk to any former members of Medicare? Uh, occasionally, I'll talk to a few of them, yeah, but uh, the majority kind of split. 
uh, they had Trolls Remorse. Uh, Haberman became a proud gay man. Uh, Jordan went off to host bingo shows that nobody watches for four hours. <laughs> uh, one dude went and worked with a video game company. Uh, another's got a normal job doing other shit. Uh, kind of everybody went their own way. Uh, occasionally I'll talk to a few of them, but about half of them had Trolls Remorse. David Jones for four ninety nine missed my first one. Please say, Matt Smart enjoys taking b- big, veiny Wakandan peen. Let me repeat that. Matt Smart enjoys taking big, veiny Wakandan peen. The Almighty Lolly for $5. Swear to God, IBS dies and we have to go back to listening to fart-smelling intellectuals when all we want to do is laugh at weirdos. I'm going to snap. Well, you don't have to. Like, you know, it, they don't have a... The market isn't cornered. Even if you're not making money, if you just want a fucking shit show, nobody has a brand on this. Just get two idiots to argue with each other. Throw something up that's funny. Host your own fucking stream. Right? You don't have to just rely on the people that are doing it for really good shit. Uh, TK Mao for $2. No, fuck you, Meadow Cook. Kaiken for $5. Boober Lee for $1.99. You can't, uh, you can't me chat for free. Sweet Forward for 50 Where's the video, Jim? Coming up soon. Demand of stuff for two Canadians. Stop the super chats. The ride never ends. Trump Nation, uh, $1.99. Don't tell me what to do. Take my money. Zach Zoda for two. Disco biscuits are fucking awesome. Karnak for $2. This won't be a three hour plus stream. Apostle of Keck for $2. Jade is a bully hunter, isn't she? JK. Keith Calhoun for $4.99. Random gaming question. Do you think the 3DO ever had a fighting chance? No, I don't. I think the 3DO is priced out of most people's affordability range. Um, it was kind of like, what was the other system that was like that? Uh, Neo Geo. Neo Geo's marketing campaign was, you, you need to be a real man to buy this because it's so fucking expensive. Uh, 3DO just, it wasn't far enough ahead technology-wise for the price point it was asking, and I think it kind of fucked itself in that regard. Uh, Never Chris, uh, $2, what good books have you read lately? Ah, fuck. Um, I, you know, I've gone retarded tonight after reading all the Super Chats, so I, I'm, I'm blanking on it, Never Chris. Obviously, they weren't that great, if I can't recall them. Gabriel Lopez for 20 Pound through this bitch. Uh, Azariel Bain for $2. IA here. Holy shit. Have some good boy points, Jim. Troy Fowler for 5 Now that you've been out at his boogie, are you going to jump off the roof? I probably couldn't get up to the roof if I was boogie, because my fat ass would fall through the stairs going up. Walrus or... <laughs> Walrus Aurelius for $2. Come back on the houseboat. XM Goys miss you. Uh, yeah, sure. Coconut Walrus for two. Jim Birch, Xeno Jim or nah? I, I'm not sure what you're asking. Dirt Pants, $1.99. Play the Ace Attorney games? Yep, uh, really good shit. Also liked Hotel Dusk. It was fucking amazing. DCP for $5. Ever hear of a dude called Leo Pirate? He said he would enable Super Chats and now he's going to spend his next stream saying he called it. Well, yeah, I announced that I was going to. Like, two days ago. Hey, Hackerus for $2. Got any anime recommendations? Legend of the Galactic Heroes is the greatest shit ever. It's about 120 episodes long. There's a couple movies. Uh, but it's really good. It's really fucking good. If you want to... It's basically an anime with the premise of an argument between which is a better form of government. Uh, an empire with a dictatorship or a republic with a democracy. And it shows you the pitfalls and the pluses of each of those. You know, I mean, it, it, it really approaches it or approaches it in a very interesting way. There's a lot of space battles and shit, but when it comes down to it, that's kind of the main crux between it. With a dictatorship, you can get a really fucking phenomenal leader who can push through his idea of what's going to make the country great, but then you're not guaranteed the next successor after him, his child or whoever it's going to be, will be as good as he was. And in a democracy... You can elect people to make sure that you get the best person for the job, but the corruption of those individuals could be so bad that they undermine that democracy. And so it plays with those concepts uh, repeatedly throughout the entire run of the anime. It's good shit. Uh, Krogan uh, Squirmhammer for $2. Fuck yeah, Metocast, so happy. Uh, Jerry Dinklin for 100 uh, Jerry, there's no, there's no message with yours. Uh, thank you for the cash, though. Vincent L. Anderson, $5. Osmondius and Doc Manhattan is to Jotaro and Star Platinum, is to Terry A. Davis and Blue CIA niggers, is to the Pentagon and secret chief and secret chiefs of a Rosicutionary 
Golden Dawn at Pentagon worked. Rimcraft for $2. Scrub is now doing a suicide stream about time. A bowl of cereal for 20 DKK. What the fuck, Jim? Scrub just deleted his Twitter and channel. C.S. Brooks for $10. Jim, I've been watching you since the SA days. You are my hero. Uhuru from the Proud Boys. What are your thoughts on LARPing and our prophet Gavin? <laughs> All I know really about Gavin is he looks really gay in motorcycle gear. And he likes shoving things up his ass. Uh... I do like watching, there are a couple streams though, like the Proud Boys going out and getting into fucking uh, fist fights. I can't remember the dude's name, he's a big motherfucker, but he, he got into a couple slugfests with some stupid Antifa fuckers, which is always entertaining. It's good shit. I love street fights. I love watching that stuff. Fight compilations, any, anything fight related is always fucking entertaining. Make Station Wagons Great Again for $2? Make Station Wagons Great Again. Armin Ready for 5 If we keep sending Super Chats, will the stream go on forever? Jesse Jones for $2? May I have your babies? Free boats for one five or free boats one for five. King of Paz wasn't alt right; he was alt tight. Bleeding hearts for ten dollars. So, what do you think of the stuff with for no good reason abusing his axe and such? I saw like two tweets in regards to that. For the people listening who don't know what that's about, I did a video. Um, it must have been eight months ago, and there was a brony mentioned in it uh, for no good reason. I think that's who we're talking about, and. Um, yeah, recently I got a couple of tweets from some girl that says she was dating him, said that he was using my name as like a threat, like if she left him or something, he was going to have me come after her, which is fucking bizarre because I don't know either of them. And then for no good reason, I think said that was untrue. I, I don't fucking know. There's so much shit going on, it's hard to keep track of everything. Fence sitter for $2. Nico Nico, neck yourself. Gary Winters for $2. Jim, do you... Uh, do you think gaming is getting better or worse? Oh, it's getting fucking worse. I don't. <laughs> it's getting awful. Sir Blast for five dollars. King of Paws has butthole circumference of three horses. Aiden Paladin has pepperoni nipples. Taylor M for five dollars. Decode for surprise. Zero one one zero zero one one zero zero one one zero 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 one zero one one zero zero one 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 zero one one zero zero one 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 zero one one zero one 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 one. Zero one 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 zero one zero zero. Wes Nozvisky for five. As long as we're still doing this, uh, can you can I get you to say Kevin is gay? Yes, you can. Kevin is gay, Wes. White ice for two dollars. What do you think? Or why do you think so many people like your vids? I I think they just enjoy you know a shit show. So if you kind of put together the basic events that happened or the talk about the person involved, people like watching that. People like laughing at absurd shit. Um, it's not specifically because it's a video I did. It's just they find that kind of content funny. Uh, I think that's really all there is to it. Opinion discarded, $10. Do a stream with Weave. Andrew M. for $2. This is the most 1488s I've ever gotten. Thanks, Jim. Uh, you're welcome, Andrew. NWO Dispatcher for $5. Cure cancer with a diet of iodine. Selenium. Carb-free diet, high fatty acid food, digestive enzymes, easily digestible protein. And and I like a... Cha-cha. Schwein Guberman for five. What you drinking? I'm just having a soda. Not, not Nothing alcoholic. It would make my throat even worse. Andrew M for two. By the way, what happened between Tonka and BYBS? I, I don't actually know. There's so much shit imploding everywhere, it's hard to keep track of every fucking fight that's going on. Uh, the Bastard for two dollars. Press one if you love Jews. Well, I'll, I'll give you a shot. I did for the 1488 guy. Uh, the Bastard for two dollars, chat, would like you to say... Uh, press 1 if you love the Jews. This gives me another good excuse to take a moment to rest and uh, have a sip of uh, soda. So that's a 1 for the Jews. I don't know how many are going to get it. Uh, the bastard, but we'll see. Well, the bastard, I don't think this is turning out how you were expecting. <laughs> There's a lot of zeros and twos, so I don't know, you can read into that how you like. Uh, Namis Raccoon for $5. Is it weird if one of my testicles is bigger than the other two? That's perfectly normal when your third testicle is a different size. TK Mile for $2. Vietnamese girls are shit. Er, Vietnamese girls are shit. Japanese are superior. The Jeffersonian for $5. Besides Billy the Anti-Bully videos, are there any other Easter egg channels that you post to? I like your CC videos and hope to see more. Uh, yeah, I've got a couple channels I run, but 
Half the fun is a mystery, isn't it? Racist for five dollars. When are you putting out another We Was Kings and shit? Uh, it might be uh, next year for Black History Month. Lowered per for two dollars. Can you shout, look here, look listen. Gabe and Ann for five dollars. Thank you, Jim, my girlfriend, and I love you. What do you think about H3H3? H3, you have five dollar reduce. I've never really watched his stuff. I've seen a couple. He does like a podcast. I've seen some of that, uh, but I haven't really watched his videos. Uh, Welshy for ten dollars Canadian. Operation Catalyst on YouTube should be on your radar. Search for staged accident at Har staged accident at Harbord and Bathurst would be the best internet insanity you would ever make. Plenty of deranged paranoid content. I will definitely check that out. Mitch R uh, for two dollars. Can you say Corey is a Sony Groid? Corey is a Sony Groid. Jorge Blanco for a dollar. Working class zero for five. My girlfriend went home. Time to jerk off to some gay porn, but it's femboys though, so it's not gay. The doctor for two. I know a trans girl that donates to your Patreon. Gabriel Lote or Lopez for ten. You peaked over seven hundred. <laughs> there we go. Here's a conversion. You peaked over seven hundred Monday mats. Let's all picture seven hundred Monday mats streaming per every gym. That is uh, quite the uh, quite the image. Todd Joachim for a dollar. R. Jeffrey, 14, for 5. Jim, get Ava to bark for me, or Jade will cook tacos again. Uh, Ava is a well-behaved dog that only bark barks at the most inopportune fucking times. Mola Viking, for 20. 9 out of 10 doctors recommend camel for a sore throat. I can believe it. Vincent L. Anderson, for 2. Dabble, you dabble, you dot tetrawatch.net. www.tetrawatch.net is, I believe, what he's going for. Brian, uh, brain right for 10. Go have some pho. Todd Joachim for two. The Jews are responsible for all the wars in the world. Trump Nation for $1.99 after this. Don't let Peter Thiel gawker you. Zofi for $5. Do you think BA is acting extra crazy just because he wants attention from you? I think it's all a fucking gimmick. It's all a, it's all a brand change. I don't buy any of it, to be honest with you. Dirt Pants for $1.99. Dragon Ball or One Piece? Uh, Dragon Ball. Death McDeath Death for $5. Jim Big Fan, do you know of Uncle Adams and the $250,000 debt he racked up trying to be a big motivational rapper? He flips TVs and power tools. Uh, no, but that uh, I'll check that out. Schwanz Gruberman for five. Would you uh, would be funny if Jim is doing this on a staff computer at the school he works at? Lehman Russ for two dollars. Screw any and all gun control. Stop gun control. Alex Bonrod two dollars. No sleep for Medicare. John Jeffries two dollars. Sargon is a straight gangster. I think we have finally reached the end. Uh, let me. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Producer Chris for two dollars, still going strong. Killer Dragon one seventeen, two dollars. I love your videos and stuff. Sigmund T Washington for two dollars. Fucking hell, I left an hour ago and it's still going. Fucking tell me about it. Tespi and Rage for five dollars Canadian. Jim, do you ever get any super chat money when you were going on Andy Worske or the Morning Kumite? You spoke, or you spent so much time there and pulled a big audience. Uh no, no, because that wasn't something I was motivated by. Like I, I just like listening to shit shows. That's fun. Like you get an argument going, or uh, there's a funny like banter going on. That's entertaining. Uh, never asked them for any money. Uh, wouldn't expect they would think they'd have to pay me either. Like you're just showing up to shoot the shit on stream. It's it'd be weird to. It would be weird for me to go in there and be like, you need to pay me. No, I, I went on because I wanted to shoot the shit. Uh, Garm ninety three fifty pounds. Uh, no message though, Garm. I'm not sure if something fucked up for you or. Uh, what's going on? It's like the fourth or uh, it's like the sixth or seventh one I've seen where that's happening. Steve Albini uh, for ten. Watch the video, you sweaty boy. Uh, and there's a link. Can't post the full link. Hmm. Very sweaty. I will copy that and watch it later. Jimmy the Pirate for two dollars. Hey, it's your boy Zach. Sean Pie for two pounds. How many proxies are you behind? Obi G One I Kenobi for two dollars. Just keep going. Uh, for fun now. Trump Nation for $9.99. Uh, Please say, I'm John Walker Flint. I approve this message. Death McDeath Death, $2. Shirts get showed. Will they ever return? Bill Hicks for $1.99. Do like Sloppy Seconds and Gen X still this shit? Gen X is the shit, yes. Augmenter for $2. Thought of uh, Thoughts on the Mass Effect OT? I have, I have no idea. Uh, I have no idea. I tuned out of that fucking series, just the game series in general. Uh, probably after the first game. I like I liked the first one; it was fine. But uh, after that, just kind of went downhill. Sean Turner for five. How is this going? Uh, stop being so charming, Jim. Richard Cranium for two dollars. Jim, why do you think modern gaming is shit? 
uh, because everything has become a triple A production. Everything's DLC now. Everything's fucking add-ons and microtransactions and uh, user agreements that are so absurd that if you do anything that's even a little out of line, you're banned from the game that you just paid $60 for. That it's all a bunch of recycled indie shit that's the same fucking look to the same fucking game with the same fucking gameplay. I think the problem is before you had like triple A shit, really small stuff, but there was a middle area, you know, like middling games where it wasn't a triple A budget, but it was above indie and there was a really sweet spot for it. And there were a lot of people making those. Now it feels like it's either a triple A production or it's just pure indie shit. And there's nothing in the middle anymore. I, I want those middle companies to come back and make the games they used to because they filled out libraries Half the reason, like, the PS1 and the PS2 had such amazing libraries is because of all the middling shit from companies that aren't even around anymore. Jason Dahl for 279 Canadian. Please say the Mandela effect is real. Chrome Dome for $5. Has Smacks 3 ever crossed your mind in the last few years? Dude, do <laughs> Jesus. Dude does Let's Plays instead of reviews. His website is still cancer, though. Uh, no, I haven't thought of Smacks in a long fucking time. Joseph McMahon for $2, how to get King Terry on one of these streams? I'm not sure. I, like I said, I think he's out in the desert somewhere. Vincent L. Anderson for $2, pre-order White Sharia Rape Simulator for Temple OS. Mahola Viking for $50, I, there's, I can't fucking pronounce that. You know I can't say that. I, I don't know how to read that. Uh, just, just gibberish, gibberish, gang, gibberish, gibberish, mullig. A helpful hand job for 5 Favorite Art Bell broadcast? Ah, oh, fuck, I haven't... I know who Art Bell is, I know the content he makes, and I liked it, but I can't name one off the top of my head for you. Uh, okay, we're, I'm close to the end here. Axton Hale, uh, $2. All Super Chats beyond this one are for Turbo Fags. Draconic159, too. Are you the one who cucked Boogie? Uh, no, I'm not. I'm not the black man that cucked Boogie. Bombastic Blake Diamond for $5. Speaking of FNGR, if you're looking to play Six Degrees of Localdom, I'm sad to say I'm connected to like five or six different cows. Garm93 for fourteen eighty eight. Everybody, everybody send King of Pole ball picks. Let's make it a meme. Your brain for $5? I know how hard it is to try and create a video here with my channel, but you do something way more stressful than me. Thanks for entertaining me. I'm glad you like the entertainment. And I think we're finally caught up. <sighs> Mahalo Viking for 20 This is the best text-to-speech ever. Fuck you. <laughs> Uh, Merc for 10, I've only heard rumors about health issues you may be having. Are you willing to confirm? Hope you're all right. Thanks for the laughs, Matt. Uh, yeah, I, I do have health issues, uh, and I leave it at that. I'm not looking to, to make it into a fucking sympathy story. And I had to give away a little bit of information saying, yeah, I have health issues. Uh, as an explanation for why I opened a Patreon, basically. What what pushed me into it. But aside from, who fucking cares? I'm just a faggot that makes shit on the internet. It doesn't matter. Uh, I have super aids. There you go. Greasy faggot for five, even better than uh, for sore throat, is uh, chamomile along with honey and lemon. Take it into consideration. Rimcraft for five dollars. Paul Spurge, when they find out Shion had dated a muzzy again. When they find Aiden dated a black. Why do right-wing trolls keep thirsting for skeptic thoughts? I don't know. CAS for five dollars, with videos and streaming being most popular with young people. What are your thoughts on e-celebs usurping traditional celebrities and media? Oh, they have a ways to, they have a ways to go before they really truly do that. It's moving towards it. Um, it, it is. You can look at somebody like a PewDiePie or even somebody smaller that has big stream numbers like an Ice Poseidon who's pulling in like 18,000 viewers. Um, they're getting there. But celebrities still have a, a pretty solid reach. Mr. DJ Fly High for $5. Can you make a Channel Awesome Shitstorm postmortem? Uh, no. I'm, I'm good on that. Sig Zex for 2. Infinity War is a waste of time. Ann Hero for 5. Tonka Emmy Aaron Eve. Nick, $1.99. Have you ever read Fluffy Abuse? If not, please do. Unity Mitford for 5 Jim, I like you answered the question. It's good. You're getting paid. This will cool down. Nate Z for 5 If King of Pole is trying to find femboys, is he really Raikou? Also, get behind me, Lex. Silly Noob for 20 Jim, you rock. Woot. Kenneth Spence uh, for 5 uh, Final Fantasy VI or Chrono Trigger, why? Oof, that's a good one. I'm going to go with Chrono Trigger, and I'm going to use the buzzword because you can't say this anymore, but I had more fun with it. There you go. Gonzo Duke for $10. How long uh, was BFK holding on to the King of Pole audio before he shared it with you? I hope you can now afford that new iron lung. Uh, again, this audio was sent to me from Invisible Crane. I'm not sure where he uh, secured it from. 
and I couldn't tell you how long ago this was. Opinion discarded for five. Did any kids at school figure out your super identity? Nope. Silly noob for $2. Smash that like button. All right. And I think uh, we're going to cut it off here. Yeah, we're, we're really close. All right. Uh, Sinjin Lee for two. Thanos dies at the end of Superman versus Batman. Harvey Justin for $1.99. Daddy. Andrew M for $2. What do you think of Dark Souls being remastered? Everything gets fucking remastered these days. Trump Nation for $4.99. Please post Super Chat total Twitter description. Don't make me watch and add them up to satisfy my autistic brain. Mahola Viking for 20 Open, uh, opening curly bracket, closing curly bracket. Polyfant for two. You've been victimized by your own popularity. Deep Woods, too. You should talk more about your musical career. Max 15, two dollars. Will the Super Chats ever end? And Dirt Pants 199, K Faraday or Athena Sykes. Keep it up, Jimbo. All right, you know, that's, I think we're good. I think we're fucking good. I think we're done. Uh, sorry, this became a Super Chat reading marathon. Not what I was fucking going for in hour four of this shit. Uh, there's got to be a better way of doing this. I'm sure there is. Maybe you read faster. Uh, that could be a thing. I'm a, a fairly fast talker. Um, I don't know what to tell you. I'm amazed that half of you stuck around to listen to all of this, though. That's a fucking endurance run. <laughs> I'm not sure you listened to three hours of that. At least you got the audio in the beginning. Remember, it's about 20 minutes in from the beginning. That's where the good shit is. Okay. A still new for ten dollars, not yet, or not done yet. Uh, Royal for four ninety nine. It's been real, boys. Let's call it a motherfucking night. And Alex Bernard for five. Don't let it stop. All right. Thank you all for coming out to the stream. Uh, it was only meant to be an hour to two hours, not four hours long. Holy shit! Did my best. I don't know how the fuck uh, Knutson did it. I, again, six to seven hours of reading a seventy-page document, and he really didn't break during the entire thing. He has to have some kind of fucking secret. Tweet him and ask him how he did it. He must have some kind of su like fucking super secret tea or something. Or something he's using to be able to fucking do that. Uh, we're going to, yeah, so I'm going to end it here. My voice is shit at the moment. Uh, it looks like one more came through. Royal, 199 or don't read a Super Chats below $10, lol. Uh, no, that'd be a dick move. People paid money, they should have it read. It'd be, it'd be an asshole move to be like, oh, you're not you're not paying enough to have it read. If you're going to give the money, I can at least read it to you. Death McDeath Death, $2. Someone tell the Murdochs to put out merch again. So somebody get on that. All right. Well, everybody, have a good evening. Enjoy your Sunday. I uh, hope you enjoyed the audio. I'm going to go gargle salt, I guess. I don't know. There's got to be a good solution to that. <laughs>